public records, the city commission, uh, Fred Sandoval, uh, CDBG department as well, nobody ever took action, even though you can see in that picture, this is just current, but back in 2012, 13, 14, uh, I take my daughter to that park. I always look at it. I always see children, young adults, and, and parents uh, uh, walk through this drainage canal. Uh, so I've written you letters uh, to Mr. Raul Cessin, uh, also our Commissioner of Precinct 2, Eddie Cantu, uh, and uh, various other inter-agencies inter uh, to assist in this. Uh, and uh, you can't ignore this problem. It's an emergency. Uh, I believe you should provide funding to it. And uh, you know, don't wait till it's too late. Uh, this park, Jones Box Park, uh, it's uh, right along the South Water Flood, uh, flood Channel uh, between uh, Jackson Road and uh, 281, and it's a little south of Dicker Road, uh, which is FM 3072. And, uh, you know, these pictures should come up for you. Uh, and it's important, you know, these people here from Arise, they're here to uh, speak to you today, and this is in their neighborhood. And three years is way too long uh, for that to happen. I'm going to go ahead and, and get you some pictures up here. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's unfortunate that after three years I have to come over here and, and speak. Here's Jones Box Park, if you look, in Precinct 2. Uh, this is from Google Maps. Uh, this picture is from 2011, but it pretty much looks the same. You'll see along the south, it's about 400 yards of irrigation, uh, I mean, excuse me, drainage dish. Here's the western edge. You can see uh, in the arrows, you know, where there's constant traffic. Here's the center of the park. You can, you can again see the marks where people cross the drainage canal and uh, go into the, the park. Uh, also here you have the northeast corner of the park. Uh, that blue arrow there is uh, an irrigation district ditch, uh, so you need to coordinate with them. And at the bottom, you see people go through that uh, to cross. Sorry, here's you have 30 seconds. I know. I got time. Uh, here's all the uh, uh, entrances where people go through. Uh, there's more than three. Here you have open uh, canals, ditches. Uh, you can see the graffiti inside. There's another open exposed piping. And... Uh, here you see the waterway. This is where people cross. Uh, you see how it's worn. It's very steep. It's at least 15, 20 yards deep. And uh, this is the other side from the community. Uh, you know, so you get pictures of both sides. And uh, five minutes are up, sir. Okay. Thank you. Let's not make it a dead end for those children. Thank you. Thank you. Next presenter is uh, Raul Cecin. Uh, yes, uh, Judge and Commissioners. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick, just quick an overview and an update on what we've been doing since Friday when the, we had the heavy rains come in. Um, uh, we mobilized our forces in certain areas, uh, uh, certain hot areas that we've been uh, notified. Um, we have uh, uh, Looked at mainly the, the main effects have been up on the north side, uh, precinct four and some of precinct three. Uh, we uh, we uh, moved to the Hoenn area drive on, on Friday. Uh, been there through this whole week right now. We also Seminary Road North. Uh, it's a project that precinct four is currently under construction. Um, the, we addressed some issues over the weekend and yesterday as well, and continue to address them to try to alleviate some of the flooding. There is some construction going on that uh, will help that uh, that flooding area. Uh, there's a problem on Big Five also Road north of Monte Cristo that we're looking to see uh, what we need to do to try to alleviate some of that uh, drainage uh, uh, issues that are happening there. Um, we also looked at Linda Vista, and uh, that's one of our pump structures that we have there, and it seems to be operational, everything working fine. Uh, we are looking into the Glasscock Mile 7, uh, one of the issues that's been longstanding there that we're looking to see what we can need to do to partner with uh, perhaps Textile in the future to try to get a bleeder line in that area. Um, and uh, overall, our system is, is, uh, is running well. Uh, our main system, everything seems to be uh, flowing uh, uh, efficiently. Uh, I'd just like to remind everyone that it takes about 24 to 48 hours for our system to alleviate itself and to start accommodating more water. So, so far, uh, it's flowing well. Uh, we're also looking at Fayesville area on the north side. There is some uh, localized flooding there that we're partnering with the city of Edinburgh to try to see what we can do 
to assist them in trying to get some of that drainage water uh, uh, down south to uh, through our North Main. So we, we've had several areas that we've been responding. We've been working with the precincts uh, to try to assist in any way we can. Uh, our primary focus is obviously our drainage system. And then, but we also want to work with, with the precincts to help them in any localized drainage issues they may be having with the colonias or developments in our county. So that's where we are uh, as of today. Thank you. Next presenter is Maria Gomez. Buenos días. Buenos días. Mi nombre es María Gómez. Vengo de la colonia Hidalgo Park, ahora ciudad de Far. Uh, estaba mirando un poquito lo que enseñó el señor hace ratito. Yo vivo en esa área y sí, cierto, son los problemas que hay, no nomás en las colonias. Buenos días. Oh, good morning. I'm sorry. I'm already confused. Good morning. My name is María Gómez and I also live in Hidalgo Park now as part of the city of Far. But I was, I was seeing what uh, they presented, uh, what Mr. Chavez presented before, and that there, there is a problem in there, and, it's, and only in, not only in the colonias. Uh, fui organizadora de, de la Unión del Pueblo Entero y trabajé mucho en las colonias. Trabajamos para muchas áreas que pudieron ayudar un poco, pero uh, todavía sigue el problema de la inundación, de las calles, uh, de las luces. Se cobran impuestos. Hay una colonia que se llama Tauros 14, cobran impuestos por el desagüe, pero se inundan sus calles de ellos. I was an organizer for Lupe, la Unión del Pueblo Entero, and um, I know about the problems of, of the colonias, and there is a lot of problems, and I was talking about uh, Colonia Tauros 14 and Precinct 3, where they're already charging um, the, the taxes for the uh, drainage, and, but they still continue to be flooded. Ay, ahorita estamos aquí para agradecerles el trabajo que nos están ayudando a hacer. Uh, yo soy voluntaria en las comunidades porque yo sé la necesidad que hay todavía de, de muchas mejoras. Entonces, uh, nos hemos juntado con, con algunos de ustedes para hacerles ver el problema que hay en las colonias. Hace poquito con el uh, profesor Guajardo nos dio la oportunidad de hablar también de los problemas que hay. Y estamos dispuestos a trabajar con ustedes, pero yo quisiera que ustedes, cuando es el tiempo de lluvia, uh, visitaran las colonias, fueran a ver qué tan graves son los problemas de la inundación en las en las colonias. Uh, I'm also wanted to mention that uh, we we met with uh, with you with the public officials we've been meeting, but we also met with uh, Dr. Guajardo recently. Uh, uh, and we like to know, tell you that we are available to work with you, continue to work with you, and I want to invite you that uh, right now during this rainy season, you visit the colonia so you can really see what the problem in the colonias are. En veces nuestra gente uh, se cansa de tocar las puertas, de mirar a ver cuándo van a ir a visitarlos, cuándo van a empezar esas mejoras. Recuerdo una vez que uh, uh, llevamos a un comisionado a, una, a un lugar donde había mucha agua que salía de una bodega para esas uh, viviendas y había muchísimos zancudos, muchísimos. Y entonces otro día, él miró la necesidad, otro día pasó a, pasaron a fumigar, ¿verdad? Pero entonces, ¿por qué tenemos que esperar hasta que miramos ya el problema tan grande? Um. I was, uh, one day when we invited a, a commissioner to go there and look at the houses and the projects that we, he realized the amount of mosquitoes that were there. And that's when the next day we saw, uh, we saw the issue solved. And so why do we have to wait until you actually see the problem until the problem has become so bigger? Uh, why do we have to wait until that and not address it before? Entonces ya nomás lo que queremos es agradecerles que trabajen con nosotros y pues seguir adelante. Yo sé que ahorita hay varios comisionados nuevos, a los otros han trabajado también mucho con nosotros, entonces queremos continuar ese trabajo con ustedes y nosotros. Gracias. Uh, we just want to thank you for uh, keep working with us uh, to the old commissioners and to the new commissioners 
and we just wanted to continue working with you and letting you know that we're available to work with you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, next item is the consent agenda. Judge Commissioner, we have no concerns. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. For the record, we've been joined by Commissioner Precinct 4. Um, item 5. Item 5. Uh, request authority to enter into a 12 month lower lease, excuse me, tower lease service with Mobile Relay Partners LTD for StarNet repeater service for Districts 2 way radius from March 1st, 2015 through February 1st, 2016, in the amount of $6,197.16. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <laughs> Item 6, uh, 2012 bond referendum project. Approval of the following settlement statement for lot 14, block 44, Alamo Latin Sugar, par uh, parcel 1, located in precinct 2, for $20,855 plus settlement fee of $1,519.97. This is part of the Hidden Valley drainage improvements are already in place. It's just trying to close on a, on a proper Move easement. Approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item 7 would be approval of closing documents for parcel 60 only, uh, Judge and, and Commissioners, of the J09 drainage project and authorization of the Board Chairman to execute the same. At this time, we will take no action on, on parcels 50 and 52, but we do need action on parcel 60. So moved. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, item 8 would be request approval to advertise for RFB number ACDD 1-15-0080513, gasoline on and off highway diesel fuel. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 8B would be requesting approval to purchase HD rubber discharge hose with quick disconnect fittings from Highland through the district's membership with HAJC contract number CM02-15 in the amount of 55100 Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item mm -hmm. 9 would be 2013 bond series. Uh, request and approval of final negotiated agreement for professional engineering services with LNG Consulting Engineers, Inc. as it relates to Precinct 2, Fort McAllen Drain, and South Floodwater Channel Water Shed Improvement, st uh, improvement Project. Approved for by negotiations with the uh, district board on March 31st, 2015. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And item B would be pursuant uh, to the board of approval of agreement professional engineering service with LNG Consultants Engineers, Inc. Requesting approval of work authorization number one in the amount of $231,275.18 for the coordination with Textile County City to accommodate local drainage needs as it relates to Precinct 2. Farm McAllen Drain and South Flood Water Channel Watershed Improvement Project. Move for approval. Second. Okay. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, board, I do not have anything in closed session for today. Motion. Nothing in executive? I'm no, sorry. No, sir. No, no executive session today, <coughs> sir. Need a motion to adjourn? No move. So move. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. At this time, we're convening our regular meeting of the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court for today, April 14, 2015. The entire court being present, we have a quorum. Please join us in our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Heavenly Father, we come together today first and foremost to thank you for the many blessings you bestow upon us every day. We thank you for the freedom we enjoy and the bountiful land we live in. We pray for those persecuted around the world. God, guide world leaders so that they may become instruments of your peace. We also ask that you bless leaders gathered here today. Bless these commissioners and the judge. May their deliberations reflect your gifts of wisdom, understanding, and humility. We ask this in your name. Amen. 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 All right, our consent agenda. Any concerns? Any concerns? Uh, we don't have any judge unless somebody else got some, but we don't. One. 
budget office. <clears throat> yes, sir. Morning, Judge Commissioners. We're requesting that we pull item 3D. 3D as in David? 3D as in David. Move for approval, pulling out 3D. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioners, we'll be requesting no action on 3D. We've already processed that transfer as an emergency transfer, so no action is required. All right, and, and they're open for them. We need to approve the consent. Uh, I thought we had. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, first presenter is uh, Ramiro Trevino. Good morning, Judge Commissioner, ladies and gentlemen. Morning, sir. My reason for being here this morning is to bring forth a concern that I have with over a precinct two county commission of my with my city. Commissioner, we welcome you to all I mean to San Juan and to all the needs that you want to support us with. We in San Juan know what our priorities are as far as our water drainage problems in certain areas. Most, uh, most recent are road and, and street problems that we have. We, we are totally confused as to the proposal that you have brought to San Juan. We as a community don't understand it. And we are, we are feeling like it's being forced on us by Precinct 2, that it's do or die, that it is now, that it has to be done. We're not against you and against the proposal. We don't understand it. Uh, not enough clarity has been brought forth so we as a community can understand it. A lot of your, some of your people visited residents on Sioux Road uh, to present this proposal to them. But all the residents from Sioux Road called me and they're as confused as I am. And all we're asking, sir, is that we have the city meeting tonight and you believe that it's going to pass because you have the three votes on the commission. Well, we're asking for it to be stopped tonight and just tabled until you can go back and bring us and bring forth another presentation so we can understand. And then we will not have a problem. But our priorities are our streets and our roads and our drainage. The fact that your proposal calls for making Sioux Road and Eldora Road a four or five lane thoroughfare is not a priority for us. I, I'll, I will give you Cesar Chavez, but not the other two streets. So all we're asking is to please table it tonight at our city meeting and bring us back another proposal with more options so we can understand it completely. That's all we're asking. Thank you. Uh, next presenter is Luis Peña. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Morning. Last time I was here, I was here discussing about a deputy involved in an accident, a high-ranking deputy involved in an accident. Uh, as, as of now, I haven't gotten any questions answered to that because every time I contact the sheriff's office to speak to the sheriff, I have to speak to a secretary. They've got to put the chief deputy to speak to me. Well, I don't want to speak to either order. I request to speak to the sheriff. Now, if he can't answer my questions or if he's afraid to answer my questions because of his limited knowledge in law enforcement, he doesn't belong in that position. It was you all that placed him in this position because he was going to do better for Hidalgo County. He was going to replace the previous sheriff who wouldn't speak to anybody because he was a narcissist. And it was all, you, all, all your commission's decision to raise your hand and appoint this man, except for Commissioner Cantu. He wasn't here at the time, but I'm sure he would have raised it as well. Uh, what I'm saying is, you know, these public servants you appoint, you know, they're not doing the job that the citizens need in Hidalgo County. And I'm sure most of these people that are over here would call and ask for him. I'm sure he wouldn't speak to him either because uh, some of these people, most of them, some of them don't speak English and our sheriff is not Spanish speaking. So I'm sure, you know, everybody's going to have a problem contacting this man. You know, you all did wrong when you appointed him a sheriff. Thank you very much. Our next presenter is Lupe Chavez. I was told I can go ahead and set up a camera here. 
Is that okay? Yes. <clears throat> and also my presentation again, I think they can put it on. Commissioners, ladies and gentlemen, uh, gracias por estar aquí. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this presentation again because there was people uh, not present. But uh, we have a very serious concern uh, in Precinct 2 uh, and also it's a concern for drainage district number 2 or number 1, pardon me, uh, irrigation district number 2, uh, the city of Far and Hidalgo County. I'm here today to request uh, emergency funding, emergency planning uh, because we need a project that needs to be done now. Okay? If we can go back 20, 25 years ago and put up barricades against uh, the Caliche pit and out, out in Alton, uh, we could have prob sa probably saved lives. And here we have an opportunity to save lives again, uh, the lives of Las Milpas children. Uh, I've, I've been a Las Milpas resident for almost my entire life. I moved down from Indiana. Uh, my parents were union workers in the steel mills up there. And uh, I have a tremendous sense of responsibility for my community. I'm a college educated person. I have a degree. And uh, in Hidalgo County, if you go through the census, uh, that's a rarity to have somebody educated. And when you have an educated population, you can get things fixed like this. Okay? In 2012, uh, we lost a young man by the name of Andres Frias. Uh, after two days, officials were throwing in the towel. You know, they wouldn't want to recover his body. It was too risky. You know, but when children get trapped in wells up north, they stop everything. The whole community comes out and rescues a child. But not in Hidalgo County. How important is the life of a child in Hidalgo County if it takes three years for the city of Far to do anything about this? And I'll tell you why. Because there's a philosophy in Far. It's Far first and Las Milpas last. El Ciudad de Far primero y Las Milpas último. ¿Cómo que no? ¿Sí, verdad? So I've written all of you letters to let you know about this problem and I do hope it gets fixed because right now it's just me, okay? Me here. But it's just not me. I represent a community and I've met with people who are tired of this stuff. They've had a city commission, people who've graduated from the city commission, and now they're in the county ranks, you know, with people like uh, Rene Guerra and Sheriff Trevino. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. They're not here with us anymore. Right. But if they were, you'd give them a proclamation about how great they are. But uh, right now, I'd like to draw your attention to these pictures here about something serious in my community and how you can fix it. Uh, Jones Box Park is in Precinct 2. It's off of uh, Dicker Road and Cage in South Far. You see a Google map satellite picture here. Uh, child safety here on the western edge, you see the arrows. This is where uh, children, young adults pass through this uh, almost 400 yard uh, long uh, drainage district. Again, you'll see in the center here uh, where people cross. Uh, right now there's only one bridge, but I'm sure they'll build more. Uh, here on the northeastern corner of the park is an irrigation, di uh, irrigation ditch, and then that's another place where uh, children cross. You'll see the high grass. It's real dangerous. Uh, here's the worn paths. These are only three, but there's more than one of these. You see where people go over from the park into the canal. This is Going into the community, you can see the houses. Here's some exposed drainage pipe. You got about 30 seconds, sir. Oh, don't worry about it. And uh, here's some more. You know, I'm a college grad. I, I uh, designed this PowerPoint for five minutes. And uh, here's uh, that, that bridge we got right there that people made from the community going into the park. Uh, the pictures really can't tell you how deep it is, but you can stare straight down into it like you're looking into hell. And that's, that's where cowards go that don't stand up for people and don't stand up for children. That's, that's what hell is. It's for cowards. So uh, don't make this a dead end for children and I hope that you uh, 
uh, take care of this proposal uh, and your uh, recommendations for funding in Precinct 2. Thank you. All right. We have some, some elected officials in the audience that we need to take their items out of order. And then we see Judge Leti Lopez. Judge, what item are you here on? Morning. 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 As of uh, January 2nd, uh, I had two vacancies on the court, and uh, what needed to be done is actually equalize the interpreter fee, and that's all I'm doing, equalizing the interpreter fee between the bailiff and the assistant coordinator. Okay. We need to read the items. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, requesting a waiver of the budget amendment policy, personnel-related amendments to discussion and consideration approval to decrease and increase interpreter pay allowance to the following positions effective the next full pay period. That's and all. three, approval of interdepartmental transfer and four, approval to re revise the salary schedule in accordance with commissioner's court action. Everything's in order. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. That applied to three and four come in, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. All right. Next item we have our district attorney under and the sheriff under item eight A. Good morning, Judge, Commissioners, and citizens of Hidalgo. Thank Good you morning, for, sir. Thank you for taking, up, taking us up this morning on our request uh, for personnel. Um, we've handed out uh, copies of uh, the PowerPoint presentation that we have. And uh, what we're, the reason we're here today is because uh, since we've taken office, uh, we've noticed that uh, not only during this administration, but other administrations in the past years, We've had a problem with the jail population here in Hidalgo County. And um, we're calling this, this, this task, this operation, is uh, Operation Fast Track. And what I'm going to present to you is just some cases, uh, just to show you what the office, the prosecutors, the staff, what they handle um, day in, day out, just to show you that every, every personnel that we have, prosecutor and staff, they're being stretched out 100%. On felony cases in 2014, uh, we had 7,553 cases. Uh, misdemeanor cases, cases 13,000, almost 14,000 cases that were filed in 2014. That's not including the 13,000 cases that uh, we're behind on and that have accumulated up till today. So that's a total number of about 21,549 criminal cases for 2014. Now, these, case, these numbers do not include uh, JP court cases, civil, civil cases, and juvenile uh, cases pending, check fraud cases, grand jury matters, or forfeitures. Um, so the goals for this operation, uh, judge and commissioners and citizens, is that we want to decrease the number of inmates housed outside of a county jail, um, decrease the amount of county expenditures spent outside housing of inmates, decrease jail population overall, improve efficiency in magistrating pending cases, streamline the district attorney's office caseload, decrease court dockets in both felony and misdemeanor courts, and streamline processing of inmates uh, for the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office. What you're seeing here is just numbers. Um, this is what's been spent uh, over the last uh, six years, five years approximately. Um, as you can see in the graphs, in 2014, we're almost at $3 million that were spent on housing uh, individuals outside our county jail. Uh, the next um, slide that we have is, it shows you how many individuals have been housed outside of, of, of uh, our, our jail in Brooks County. Uh, and I think that number is uh, 
two million, almost seven hundred thousand dollars that we spent on the inmates at Brooks County. And the next slide that we have is the amount of money that we spent on holding individuals in La Villa, which is two hundred twenty thousand dollars as well. And if you put all this together, uh, we've spent again a total of two million eight hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars that we spent just in 2014 housing inmates outside our county jail. If we take 2009 to 2014, we spent $13 million, $423,000 that we spent on housing individuals outside our county jail. And this is no fault from the sheriff, no fault from the judges, no fault from county commissioners. It's just we've been growing tremendously. The caseload that we have at the DA's office is huge. The caseload that the district judges and criminal uh, uh, misdemeanor judges, uh, county court law judges handle day in, day out, or a whole bunch. And obviously, you've seen the numbers. So, um, in, in, the, in the last five years, again, you have a total of $12 million. At its peak, the county has spent more than $3 million annually to house inmates. So, we, and what's going to happen the next year is our housing uh, cost is going to increase as well to $500,000 per year. Estimated annual cost to the county between, it'll be between $3 million to $3 million five per year. So the projected total cost of the county at an estimated $15 million to $17 million five over the next years, uh, next five years. So what we're trying to do is, if we even, even if we cut this by 50%, would save the county an estimated $1,750,000 uh, and a projected five years would save the, the county a projected $8,750,000. And how do we do this? Um, we're asking for these personnel again because everyone that we have at the office right now is being stretched out completely. We don't have the personnel to actually go and attack the jail population itself. With the staff that we're asking for, um, we believe that we can save 50% uh, and more uh, and save again uh, the, the county $8,750,000. With this fast track operation, judge and commissioners, uh, again, we can take each case individually. And I'm only talking about nonviolent drug offenses. I'm not talking about murder cases. I'm not talking about burly habitation cases. I'm talking about we have huge numbers that we deal with every day just on nonviolent and drug offenses. Where we have a group that attacks the jail population working together with the sheriff, we know that we can cut the cost and we can, we can save our taxpayers uh, and this county a whole lot of money uh, with this personnel. I think it's cost effective. I think it's efficient. And at the same time, once uh, we have e-filing on criminal cases as well, we'll be able to save the county so much more money than these numbers here once the e-filing is also in place. So that's, that's why we're here today. Uh, we feel that uh, we didn't have the opportunity once we, uh, when we got in to actually come in and um, look at what we had and see what we could do. Uh, obviously, we've, we've done everything that we can with the personnel and prosecutors that we have right now. But with these personnel that we're asking, uh, we feel that, again, we can save the county uh, a whole lot of taxpayers' money. And the sheriff's uh, also been a huge part of, of this operation and will be a huge part of this operation. Uh, he's on board to help us as much as possible. Again, in due time, once e filing uh, comes into effect, then I will go out also and talk to the county court law judges, district court judges, and uh, make sure that we're all on the same page so it can run efficiently. Uh, with his criminal cases that we have to handle. Do we need action yeah. on this or what? Yes. We need action on uh, 9A, nope. is that Move correct? For approval. Move for approval on 9A. And, two, uh, one, and two and three. Yeah. No. Judge. Yes, sir. Second. Uh, I don't believe there's currently funding in place for this item. Subject to funding. All right. I'll address. No. All right. Those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Th thank you. I want to add one, one other thing, uh, Judge and Commissioners. Uh, our neighboring um, uh, DA, Luis Science, has, has this in place. And not only has he reduced his jail population tremendously, uh, I know that they don't have as many agencies as we have here in Hidalgo County, but now he's, he's housing individuals from other uh, neighboring uh, counties and cities, and they're making money in their jail because they've decreased the population in, in, in their jail as well. And, well and, and, and if we can at one point be able to do that, then 
again, that's more monies that we can give back to taxpayers. And I think you should be commended for taking on this this uh, project. It is a, a a big issue here in our county. As you can see, what you showed is a graph showing how the, the increases that have uh, that have come about year after year after year. And um, you know, I for one would like to thank you for taking this on, and the sheriff for working with you. And I know the judges. Both the county court of law and the district judges will be involved. Morning, Judge Commissioners. Uh, I, I stand here today uh, to fully support the uh, district attorney here. Um, again, it's, it's going to be a cooperated effort between my office, the uh, district attorney's office, all the all the judges, um, and of course, you know, Hidalgo County is very uh, unique in that we uh, we have 21 different uh, municipalities that, uh, that the district attorney's office also has to, uh, to deal with. And uh, I believe uh, this is a start to help us uh, reduce the, uh, the inmate population. Again, he's talking about these, these fast track on these uh, nonviolent offenders. Just on, uh, on our, my, the jail bookings for, uh, for uh, nonviolent offenders, uh, for instance, uh, less than two ounces of uh, marijuana uh, cost the county over a million dollars. Theft under uh, uh, $50 to $100, uh, those bookings also um, uh, cost the county again another another million dollars. So that's just two million, and that's just taking uh, 2014 uh, numbers. So uh, uh, I believe uh, this is a start. We're going to continue uh, other ideas that the uh, district attorney and I um, uh, have. I believe uh, we need to also to look at uh, better technology so we can uh, look at the uh, the the management of the jail. Uh, and um, we're going to bring some, uh, some of those ideas uh, back to this court as, uh, uh, here, here soon. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Judge Commissioner, citizens of Hidalgo. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. May we excuse? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. We have also with us our district clerk. I believe it's item 11A, uh, Ms. Hinojosa. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Yes, sir, it is item 11A. Go ahead. Judge, I come before you to seek approval for our annual plan, which must be pre-authorized in order to be able to use the funds. And statutorily, we have to, or I need to come up here once every year to to get this approved. Move for approval. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Public hearing. Oh, yeah. Do we have to convene a public hearing? Oh. Yes, sir. All right. Well, would you care to? If people are going to make any some comment, would you explain what this is about? Yes, sir. Um, pursuant to Texas Government Code 51.305, the Commissioner's Court of Hidalgo County adopted in December 2013 a district court records archive fee of not more than $10 for the filing of a suit, including an appeal from an inferior court or a cross action, counterclaim, intervention, contempt action, motion for new trial, or third party petition in a district court in the county as part of the county's annual budget. The district clerk in a county that adopts a fee under this section shall prepare an annual written plan for the preservation and restoration of the district court records archive. The commissioner's court shall publish notice of a public hearing on the plan and can then consider its approval. Money in the district court records technology fund may be expended only as provided by the plan. All expenditures from the records technology fund must comply with subchapter C, chapter 262 of the local government code. So at this time, All right. I'm at asking this time, I would convene a public hearing on this issue. Is there anyone here that desires to speak, either in favor of or in opposition, or make any comments on this matter? No one having risen, then uh, we will close the public hearing. And we need action. Move for approval. Second. Second. All right, that would be an 11A2. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I need action on 11A3. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge and Commissioners. May I be excused? Yes, ma'am.
Okay, well, let me let me complete the open forum. Uh, the next presenter is uh, Fern McClarity. Good morning. I have a couple of questions. Uh, I got a phone call, and so I did an open records, and I was asking if the department heads of the county are watching the employees. Uh, obviously not in one department. Um, we pulled up the hours and the time they clock in. They clocked in at 8.04 a.m. They clocked out at 12.05 for lunch. They clocked in at 1.03 p.m. and clocked out at 5.38. The problem is when we called to see if they were there uh, and people went over there, the vehicle wasn't there. They were clocked in, but they were not there and they were seen shopping at Hobby Lobby and Mission. So our question is, why in the world do you not just stay home if you're going to try this? Why go out in the public? We see you. The people see you, and they ask why. So I wish the department heads would pay more attention to their departments. And if we don't hear something, then next time I'll tell what department it's in. Today also I wanted to bring up, I believe that Prop 1 Hospital District didn't pass in November. The people of the county said no. But I see today on 6C and D, uh, your support of the Renaissance Medical Foundation to apply for a $5 million grant for uh, nursing degrees and, and health uh, professionals. And D is discussion, consideration, of possible action on a letter supporting Doctors Hospital at Renaissance and Women's Hospital at Renaissance for the nursing. Would this not go under STC or UT? I've had a couple of questions on that. And then to this morning in open forum, they were doing some campaigning, and I noticed that there's a couple that thought on the front row that thought it was funny. Uh, they just happened to be, I believe, running for the position also. So like I say, the public are always watching, and we just question as to why now and why is this coming through the county right now. And then the third thing is on the agenda, uh, is talking about, I'm not sure what number, I just know it's E, acceptance of a settlement check from a general agency, Apollo Management, in the amount of $8,855 to settle a total uh, auto accident with the sheriff's vehicle. I know that constantly we buy cars that start about $30,000, $35,000, and then when we do, and it looks like it wasn't our fault because we're accepting a check, how old or how bad was this vehicle that we only got $8,855? We put out a lot of money on these vehicles. We just ask that we get money back when it's not our fault so the taxpayers don't have to buy a new vehicle. Thank you. All right, next presenter is Marcela Alejandra. I see that we have five people that have signed up to speak on public light in Colonias. If uh, I'm going to be, instead of the five minute, we're going to be allowing a little less time in uh, compliance with the Texas government code, uh, but uh, you will have uh, the allotted time, uh, but it has to be split up between all five of you. On five minutes for six people, or what? Uh, it's five people. Just one minute. Maricela Alejandro, no, three minutes. Three minutes, okay, sounds good. Okay. Uh, buenos días, mi nombre es Marcela Alejandre, soy miembro de Lupe y vengo de la colonia Tower Trails. Uh, solamente quiero uh, recordarles un poquito a los señores comisionados, en enero tuvimos, enero 15, tuvimos una junta muy grande este, en la que estuvieron ustedes presentes, uh, tuvimos muchísimas colonias que representan a todo este condado. Este, en, ese, en ese día se habló de que se iba a poner en plan ya un programa para poder solucionar el problema de la luz pública en las colonias. Se acordó de un programa piloto en el que se iban a incluir a ocho colonias. Ah, se, se dijo que en, trein, en 30 días a un mes se iba a resolver todo esto, alguna respuesta concreta. Ya al día de mañana van a ser tres meses. Este, lo que está pasando es que Uh, nosotros de cualquier manera ayudamos un poquito con ustedes en tratar de calmar y tranquilizar un poco a las colonias. Ya van a ser tres meses y en realidad lo que queremos son respuestas concretas a este problema. 
me gustaría también invitarles a que puedan ustedes acudir a las colonias de noche, para que se den cuenta, no sé la situación en la que ustedes vivan también, ¿verdad? Pero la, el problema de las colonias y la oscuridad en las colonias, los problemas que pasan, esos existen. En realidad estamos en la vida real y sí me gustaría que abrieran un poquito más los ojos y, y se dieran cuenta de lo que en realidad está pasando. Las colonias no quieren esperar más, solamente son ocho colonias las que están ahorita, entonces creo que es tiempo de que pues empiece a actuar un poquito más, ¿verdad? Para que la gente no, no tengamos que estar acudiendo y recordarles todo esto. También quiero decirles que vamos a intensificar un poquito más la campaña sobre la luz este, y a ver qué más cosas vamos a hacer para este, poner, empezar a poner en práctica todo esto. Good morning. My name is uh, Marcela Alejandre. Um, I live in Tower Trails and Precinct 4. And I just wanted to remind a little bit uh, about the, uh, the commissioners that you're in, our, in uh, the headquarters of Lupe with a rise. Uh, um, in January the 15th, and tomorrow is going to be three months since we met. Uh, we still are not have um, clear um, objectives for the how are we going to do the three, the eight colonias pilot, and so we kind of stuck. We just wanted to let you know that we are going to intensify our our, our campaign because the lack of or light in the colonias is a real issue for us. Uh, we live with that every day, and we'd like to invite you to come and see the colonias at night, so you can see that our reality. So we just wanted to thank you for uh, for continuing to work with us, and we just wanted to let you know. Thank you. Thank you. Next presenter is Ada Curiel. Would Emma Alani, Sandra Carrillo, and Saret Garcia, if you don't mind, maybe you can step forward. Buenos días. Uh, buenos días. Mi nombre es Aide Curiel. Um, quiero compartirles este, que yo soy una de las elegidas en la, de las ocho colonias que están um, para el plan piloto. Uh, Uh, quiero informarles, verdad, que nosotros hemos trabajado en mi colonia muy duro, haciendo juntas uh, con la gente, informándoles el, el plan piloto, ¿verdad? lo que se lleva a cabo con el plan piloto, uh, sobre la recolección de dinero y cómo uh, estamos elegidos, verdad, con, uh, con este plan. Ellos están muy entusiasmados, estamos muy entusiasmados, verdad, esperando ya que se lleve en concreto lo que es este plan. Eh, ya nada más estamos esperando el cobro, el cuánto va a ser el monto, ¿verdad?, y cómo se va a recolectar el dinero. Uh, hemos trabajado muy duro, ¿verdad?, como les digo. Este, me gustaría invitarles a ustedes, uh, comisionados, para que uh, nos uh, acompañaran, ¿verdad?, en, en estas juntas que llevamos a cabo nosotros en las colonias, para que vean uh, la necesidad de, la, de las personas, ¿verdad?, y el entusiasmo que tienen ellos para ser un ejemplo a las demás colonias y tener alumbrado público. Gracias. Her name is Nelly Curiel. Uh, one of her colonia, Guli Meadows, is one of the eight pilot uh, colonias that has been chosen for this program. Uh, she's been working diligently with her community, uh, organizing and meeting with people at house meetings, letting them know about the program, and they're very enthused about uh, the pilot and uh, are willing to work with the community. Um, so they're also eager for the program to start and uh, would like to more any information uh, which will, will, uh, she will be helping uh, carry out to her colonia. So just wants to bring up that she's been helping organize in these pilot uh, colonias and that the people are ready to work with the county on this issue. Our next presenter is uh, Emma Alaniz. Hello, uh, my name is Emma Alaniz. I'm a colonia resident, uh, Korea States. And I am one of the few, the few people went to Austin to ask for the support of the House Bill 302. Um, and the hardest part of the, of the trip over there is not um, driving with no sleep. The hardest part for me is trying to communicate in, in English over there with the committee, the committee because um, my bird language is in Spanish. But, um, Okay, right now we are here in the valley, we're home, and I want to talk in Spanish. <laughs> I feel better. Okay, um, right now 
le van a pasar a, a, los, a la parte del comité la, una copia de la, de la, del, del House Bill 3002 para que sepamos todos por igual de qué es de lo que estamos hablando. Este, una de las partes de mi experiencia allá hablando con el comité era que al mismo tiempo en que yo me sentía muy bien hablando, hablando por mis vecinos, por, todo, por mi colonia, ¿verdad? por la persona que yo iba representando, aparte de eso yo me sentí demasiado, demasiado decepcionada, me sentí triste y sola allá, porque no había ninguna persona de nuestros comisionados de aquí del condado que diera testimonio de esta ley y nos soportara allí. Me hubiera gustado que ellos, alguna persona de ellos, así como yo fui a pedir el soporte de ellos, que alguien se parara allí y también hablara, pidiendo, pidiendo esto mismo, el soporte para nosotros, para que nuestras colonias y la vida de nuestros hijos sea más uh, de una mejor calidad. Muchas gracias por su atención. Emma Lanis uh, basically Carrillo. wanted to say I'm, that. I'm sorry, the, the three minutes are up, but. I just wanted to translate. Uh, Go the, ahead. She was mentioning that she went up to Austin to speak on HB 3002, right. which is the lighting uh, legislation that is up in the Texas legislation. And she was very disappointed because none of the county commissioners that had anybody there to represent and to support her community, which is something that's very important to the Colonia residents. And she just wanted to bring that up, that the hardest part was not the the hour drives and speaking in English in front of a committee who she was not aware of, but, but it was not having the support of her community members and their elected officials here in the Valley who, who know the importance of this legislation. Well, if I may comment to that, we were up in Austin last week and I hate to correct, um, but I just, I have to uh, defend the facts of the matter. We were present. Uh, we did have uh, Jesse Ozuna who's heading that uh, lighting bill from our office there. Uh, hearing testimony. So we did have people present there and we did have extensive dialogue with our representative after the meeting. So we're, we're still there. We're there every day and we're going to continue to be there. The next presenter is Sandra Carrillo. Buenos días, señores comisionados. Gracias por darnos la oportunidad a mi comunidad y a mí, Sandra Carrillo, representada por organización Arise. Good morning, commissioners. Um, thank you for the opportunity that you give us and you give me Sandra Carrillo to come and um, that we are represented by a rice. Estoy aquí representando mi colonia que pertenece al precinto 1, la frontera stay fase 3. I am here representing my um, colonia that belongs to Pristine 1, um, La Frontera, phase number 3. Señora Isi Cuellar, como usted sabe del programa piloto, a Rai se le permitió trabajar con Precinto 2, solo que las colonias existentes tienen la infraestructura atrás y el requisito es tenerla enfrente. Um, Mr. Ezequiel, as you know, um, Arise is working with the, pro the pilot program and they were permitted to work with Pristine 2, which um, those colonias have the infrastructure on the, on the back and the requirement is to have them in the front, which my colonia has them in the front. Mi colonia quedó Mi colonia quedó fuera porque se le dio la oportunidad a otras colonias del precinto 1. Yo quiero que se nos dé la oportunidad de quedar en el programa piloto. Um, I'm asking for you to um, take in consideration my colonia, which is precinct 1, which was left out in um, the pilot program. And I'm asking if there's any possibilities that um, my colonia can be um, included in that pilot program. Thank you. Got, you. you got 30 seconds approximately. Gracias. Uh, next presenter is Saret Garcia. Sí, buenas, buenos días, señores comisionados. Um, mi nombre es Saret Garcia, soy miembro de la Unión del Pueblo Entero 
pero también trabajo en el precinto 3. Créanme que es bien, muy feo. Eh, he sido voluntaria por mucho tiempo también, uh, por ejemplo, para las personas que nos invitan a que saquemos los votos, ¿verdad? Uh, de, 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 ¿Cómo dice? Ven para votar. Pero me ha, me ha tocado la experiencia de que he ido a las seis de la tarde y, ni, y ya para las seis de la tarde es muy difícil estar en las colonias sin luz, porque estar en las colonias sin, sin luz se invitan a la violencia, invitan a que a que, a que los niños estén sin… sin um, ¿cómo puede decir? Um, bueno, lo voy a decir en inglés. It is, it is important to remember that to be without light is the same to invite the insecurity and crime to the colonias. Um, I work very times from eight years, and I, saw the chi and I see the children that are not safe, even the people who take care of us as the policemen or sheriffs, they are uh, like, I think they, I don't only think, the people think that they don't go over there because it's, it's uh, hard to go in the dark. Um, even I talk with uh, the transportation, like the school buses, and they said that it's, it's horrible to drive and to see, to watch, how they are uh, doing their driving because they are afraid to um, de, de pegarle a un niño de, de, este, de, to hit the kids they are afraid to hit the kids pero like, um, like me as my, as my um, como mi experiencia as my experience um, it's, it's awful to be in the dark the last time I was there in February giving some volantes, and at seven o'clock, I, I, I saw that there are people that, there are not nice people going to the dark and to the, to the streets, and then I saw that it was time to leave the, the, the colonia. So, um, it's, I, I can imagine how the kid, the kids, they're not, they, they don't play after seven or eight. I live, I, I live here in Edinburgh, but I work in the precinct number three. So I want a change because there are a lot of infrastructure, but, um, but we need the light over there. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The next item has been a request that we move up item 22A and 23A. So let's begin with 22A. All right. Who's presenting this one? Mando. Mando. All right. Good morning, Judge, Commissioners. Good morning, Ladies sir. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I bring before you, before you today uh, a resolution uh, on behalf uh, of Hidalgo County uh, in support of uh, Precinct 2's regional hike and bike trail. Uh, as uh, many of you know, uh, Commissioner Cantu has been working uh, diligently since uh, his election last year uh, to bring <coughs> projects to Precinct 2. Uh, this regional hike and bike trail that we are proposing uh, is, uh, is a hike and bike trail that will connect uh, the city of San Juan, the city of Far, uh, to the uh, Second Street uh, hike and bike trail in McAllen. Um, as many of you know, that hike and bike trail travels uh, from the southernmost part of McAllen all the way to uh, Trenton uh, and right now there's about a one mile gap between uh, that hike and bike trail and Edinburgh's hike and bike trail which we hope uh, to help the city of Edinburgh also develop uh, our hopes eventually is to have a continuous uninterrupted hike and bike trail beginning in the city of San Juan traveling through the city of Far, McAllen through Edinburgh and all the way to uh, UTRGV uh, eventually having a hike and bike trail uh, that will be almost 27 miles long interrupted. Uh, at this point, uh, Precinct 2 will be applying for uh, TAP funding uh, to fund this project. Uh, and at this point, we're asking for uh, approval of this resolution in support of our application for that grant funding. All right. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, now, 20, 23A. 
from Sunday. Precinct 3. Mr. Cannon. Good morning, Judge, Commissioners. Uh, before you this morning for consideration is a, uh, a resolution uh, so that the MPO might meet its new federal requirements to have the policy committee of the MPO designated as the MPO as to what the wording is on it now where it reads the Lower Rio Grande Valley Development Council. This is a 25-year-old designation at the time of Governor Ann Richards. Since then, federal regs have changed, and we're simply trying to do some housekeeping. All we're right. looking for support from the county because we have to have support of 75% of the population that make up the urbanized area, and of course the county is a large part of that. So that's why we're seeking your support today. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. I move back to item number six, A. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Hilda Salinas with Public Affairs. Uh, today we have a proclamation declaring April 2015 as Child Abuse Awareness and Prevention Month. Child Abuse, uh, National Child Abuse Prevention Month is a time to acknowledge the importance of families and communities working together to prevent child abuse and neglect and to promote the social and emotional well-being of children and families. During the month of April and throughout the year, communities are encouraged to share child abuse and neglect prevention awareness strategies and activities and promote prevention across the country. Here today is Diana Almaguer, Casa Hidalgo County Executive Director. Also in support of the proclamation is Denise Quintanilla, Administrative Assistant, Talisa Munoz, Supervisor, Giovanna Torres, Case Manager, Wilma Davila, Case Manager, and Bianca Lopez, Volunteer Coordinator. Ms. Almaguer would like to say a couple of words. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Morning. How are you this morning? Staying warm inside and not outside in the rain. Thank you so much for allowing us to be here today. I don't know if any of you remember the story of the Wizard of Oz. In the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy wanted to go home. In order for her to go home, she had to tap her heels three times. It would be ideal if our children could do the same, and our children cannot. Our organization, CASA, Court Appointed Special Advocates, works with children who have been abused and neglected and are placed in the foster care system. And our staff works with these children to try to ensure that we can find a safe and permanent place for them. On April 1st, we declared child care, uh, we had, I'm sorry, a candlelight vigil in front of the courthouse, and we brought several agencies together to bring awareness to the problem. Last year, we had 789 children just in Hidalgo County in foster care. And at this time, we are currently close to 600 children, and the numbers are alarming. For the past three years, according to the Texas Department of Protective and Regulatory Services data, Hidalgo County has been the top 10 counties with the number of children that are confirmed victims of abuse and neglect and the number of children that are in the foster care system. And that is very, like I said, very alarming for Hidalgo County to be recognized whenever I go up to Texas, up to Austin, and they point that out to me. It's a very alarming number. And last year we had zero child fatalities, and this current fiscal year we have seven. Seven children who have been victims of abuse and neglect and have died because of abuse and neglect. So our job continues, and with your continued support, because you are very big supporters of our organization, we continue to make this difference. We continue to go out there and educate the community to ensure that our numbers go down and that Hidalgo County is not known for this high number of, of children as victims of abuse and neglect. So thank you so much for having us this morning. And like I said, I appreciate your continued support with our organization. And you can stop by and visit us anytime, anytime you have any questions, anytime, anytime you need any information regarding these children, you are more than welcome to stop by. Thank, thank you. you. Need a second? Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries.
Item is item 6B. Uh, Judge, if I could take 6C out of order. Um, I'm sorry, you want to take which one? 6C, the next one in order. 6C? Um, yes. Uh, it's a letter of support in uh, the Renaissance Medical Foundation's application for okay, $5 million. Okay, it'll be item 6C. Yes, Go sir. ahead. For a $5 million U.S. Department of Labor grant to develop and deliver a healthcare professions apprenticeship program to increase the number of degreed nurses and other healthcare professionals. Uh, we have a number of partners in healthcare workforce, education, banking, and the audience. Lisa Woodward uh, will tell you a little bit about what, what this uh, grant is about. Good morning. Thank you for having us here this morning. Good morning. The Department of Labor grant was brought to us by Congressman, Congressman Hinojosa, so we very much appreciate uh, the opportunity that he got for us, as well as Dr. Hernandez was able to get the partners together that you see with me. This grant uh, for $5 million will work an apprenticeship program that has uh, the, the students actually working while they're learning a new trade, but in the healthcare fields. So it works all the way from uh, high school, that we're working with them as pre-apprentice uh, to be able to get as a CNA, a certified nurse's assistant, phlebotomist, all the way up to uh, a bachelor's degree in nursing. And as you can see here, our partners, quite a few of them, we've got uh, Lone Star Bank, so we can uh, uh, have them learn the importance of uh, managing their money, as well as Region 1 uh, to work with us with the students from uh, high school. We have South Texas College, uh, University of Texas, soon to be RGV, as well as uh, Regency, Solera, uh, Vita, and Hidalgo Workforce, all, all of our partners. And together we're submitting this, and we would really appreciate a letter of support from you all. All right. Need a oh, and the VA as well, excuse me. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Great. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Great. Judge, Judge, if I may, just wanted to clarify, it is not a doctor's hospital alone initiative. It is an initiative for the county for the staffing challenges. As a healthcare chief executive, I can see the difference we can make by the partnering with the Department of Labor. Yes. I don't want any misconception about that. Somebody has to take the lead, and we had to support the productive and healthy organizations. Thank you. Thank you, Harry. May I say a few words? I just want to say that uh, we drafted up a letter of support from the Veterans Services Department. To us, this is very important as we have many, many uh, members of our military that are coming back, a lot of them with uh, medical field background, and I think this would be a great opportunity for them to enhance their post-secondary education, and hopefully they'll get jobs. Thank you. I also want to say that uh, the Veterans Department of Veterans Affairs also provided a letter of support. Oh. You. Yeah. 6B. Yeah, going back to 6B, Commissioner, uh, discussion, consideration, and possible action on letter of support requested by the City of Edinburgh for the Transportation Alternative Program grant application being submitted through Hidalgo County MPO. Uh, this is a phase two of Edinburgh ISD Safe Cycling to School Project. It would be installing, a, they're applying for a grant to install lights on the walking trail between 
Gano Street and South Middle School along Freddy Gonzalez. Need a motion to approve? Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And then also we have 6D discussion, consideration, possible action alert support requested by DHR and Women's Hospital at Renaissance for the Nurse Family Partnership application to Human and Health, Health and Human Services Commission. Uh, this is an HHS grant that, that they apply for annually. Uh, Mr. Ron Tupper, who asked for this item, couldn't be here today, but essentially this grant allows, uh, allows RNs to visit expectant mothers, um, like house visitations where they're at-risk mothers that are having trouble getting to the doctor. So move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, item six E is possible discussion, possible action on the order approving an agreement among Hidalgo County Santana Textiles and Santana Real Estate LLC to amend the tax abatement agreement effective as of July 6, 2010 between Hidalgo County and Santana Textiles. Uh, if you recall Santana Textiles, we entered into an abatement back in twenty ten. Uh, they were gonna change Due to some issues with uh, moving money from Argentina to, to the U.S., they had some uh, hiccups, but essentially what this is about, and Steve, Steve and uh, his staff has, have already uh, uh, fixed the agreement up, but essentially it's just to, uh, I guess, to assign the name, right, Steve? Basically. Basically. And no, no, no terms are changing. This is just continuing the, the abatement, but they haven't received any abatement because of this issue, so really they only have about five years left on it to really get an abatement. They've paid over one in 1.7 million in taxes so far, and they haven't been abated, so, and they're gonna continue to move forward on, on their project. And actually, uh, Robert Gantu, I believe, and Nelda Ramirez from Edinburgh uh, EDC are here. I don't know if they wanna elaborate. Y'all wanna speak to them, or? Y'all no. need to, you, you wanna hear them? No, we're good. <coughs> nope. The what? You good? You need approval for it? Yeah. Approval for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge Commissioners. Executive Office, Valde Guerra. Guerra. Sorry. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, there is no action under, uh, or there is nothing to act on on item 7A, 1, and 2 unless there is action to be taken further down the agenda. Uh, item 7B, there is no presentation. I do want to report real briefly, uh, real quickly to the court that uh, May 21st or 22nd is our uh, finished uh, deadline or timeline on this project, the old administration building, but we are currently working with our contractor in developing a punch list and addressing issues right now. So when that day comes, we'll have, we should have addressed everything that needs to be addressed so that we can uh, minimize uh, the punch list uh, and, and uh, the final uh, walkthrough of that building. Do you have an idea when we'll be moving in there? Uh, Commissioner, um, uh, after our punch list uh, is addressed, uh, I've informed the departments that uh, no one will move in until we have the punch list uh, completed because it's uh, a little cumbersome when we have staff move in and then trying to address uh, issues as a result of the punch list. Uh, as I said, Commissioner, we're addressing a punch list today as we speak, and so I'm hoping that uh, from the day of completion, which is somewhere in uh, May 21st, 22nd, you have 30 days. I'm hoping to minimize that, you know, by a couple couple weeks. Uh, so we're real close. We're real close. Good. Item, uh, and so there is no uh, presentation today under item uh, B. Item C, Community Service Agency. Uh, Judge Commissioners have an action item for the appropriate action to appoint and fill the position of Executive Director for Community Service Agency. Uh, we all... Uh, uh, I want to approve uh, Jaime Longoria. I'm Longoria. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. With that being said, Judge Commissioners, approval of said salary will have a base salary of 88500 and an auto stipend of $1,500. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three is Mr. Longoria in the audience? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll let uh, uh, Mr. Longoria address item three. Uh, Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Uh, Jaime Logori with Community Service Agency. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say uh, thank you all very much for uh, the vote of confidence. Uh, I, I know that I was serving uh, the citizens of Hidalgo County in the interim capacity for the last uh, 30 days, more or less. Uh, what I found is an agency that, uh, that has been successful at doing, uh, doing some, in some regards, in some aspects of, of their mission, and that is delivering uh, electricity monies to, to help residents pay their electric bills. Uh, 
in other areas, though, they certainly were, were, were deficient in terms of, of how efficient they were getting the money out. Uh, so what I, what I will say to the court is, is what I have found is that it's going to be a process. It's going to be a, a, a little bit more lengthy of a process than, than we expected initially, uh, six months to a year to kind of get the whole boat turned around. Uh, the state of Texas, uh, the folks from the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs are here again today. Uh, this is their second visit in about two weeks to this agency. Uh, what I want to tell the court just very briefly is, is that what we're trying to do is we're going to change the delivery model. Currently the delivery model for services in this agency is you walk in, you drop off your application, and then you wait a few months, uh, generally about two to three months to, to, to get those services. Okay? This is an agency of last resort for many of these folks and what we want to do is change the model so when folks come in they, they're seen immediately, the application is turned around immediately and we, they walk out of there knowing what kind of services they're, they're going to be receiving. So that's the important shift in mission that we're going to be doing. It sounds very simple, but actually it's a very complicated model and, and we're going to do this while at the same time keeping our doors open. So I anticipate this is going to be a, 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 very, a very complicated task, but uh, I've got 40 employees that are very dedicated and very interested in furthering this mission and, and keep us moving forward. So I'm, I'm humbled by, by your uh, by your choice in, in me to, to lead this organization. I'm very excited because it is something that, uh, that fits very well in, in what I've done pretty much most of my life. And, uh, and, and I'm, very, I'm very happy to, to serve the people of Hidalgo County. I will tell you very briefly what we've done in the last, uh, in the last 30 days. Uh, one of the important things that we've done is we've started what's called an emergency response unit. And this was actually a, a referral that one of the precincts, I think it was precinct four, made to our office. Uh, from a family that, that was the victim of a fire. And they just happened, the, the folks from the state happened to be there when this call came in. I knew that we could serve them by referring these folks out for services. But the state of Texas says, actu actually, you have money within your grant, within the community service agency, to provide direct assistance, which is, you know, helping people, putting them up in housing if that's what they need to do putting them up in a hotel for seven days, providing food or working with the food bank, providing them money for clothing if they need to replace clothing, providing money for transportation, those kinds of things. So we've, we've started this emergency response unit. Uh, it's in its infancy, okay, right now, but we are working to establish that, and that's going to be an added resource for the, the people of Hidalgo County, and I'm proud to say that we've done that in the last 30 days. The other thing that we've done is we've developed a plan for changing the model, the delivery service model that I just mentioned to you all, is uh, we're, we're very excited because we're going to start seeing people on the front end. They walk in, they're going to be able to, within the next few days, they're going to be able to get their application, fill out their application, and receive services that same day. So that's a whole new unit that we're establishing. Uh, there's a whole variety of other issues. I would like to come back uh, with your permission, uh, maybe at the 45-day mark at the next commissioner's court meeting, and provide you a more substantive report. Uh, I know right now you're pressed for time, but I would uh, certainly ask you all for that, that permission to come back. Congratulations right. and good luck. Well, thank you all so much, and I yes, appreciate good luck, the honey. selection. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, did we, did we get? Three. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry, that was the item that I wanted to jump into. Because of, the, uh, because of this situation where we, we, we found, a, we've, we found a, a very large number of backlogged applications when I, when I went in, a large number of applications for assistance, what we've asked the state is for authorization to, to, have, uh, to pay our employees overtime under our, under our current uh, pay rates uh, from the Community Service Agency grant. And uh, we've asked the state if that would be okay under the grant. They said it would be. We want to have a particular Saturday, actually April the 25th, for about 15 or 20 of our employees to come in and to work from 8 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock on a Saturday. But I need authorization from the court to, to, pay, uh, to pay them overtime. This would not be comp time. This would be a figure that would not exceed, uh, exceed $5,000, Judge. And it would all be payable under our grant. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Uh, Go ahead, Mr. Gar. Picture. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Judge Commissioners, uh, I would uh, just very quickly, I do want to acknowledge uh, uh, a group of individuals that uh, assisted uh, in the interim uh, before Jaime was at the office. I do want to acknowledge Rolando Garcia from the uh, budget office, uh, Christopher Trevino from, uh, from my office, and Dyrene Sarmiento from the health department. Uh, they were the team that was uh, in place uh, prior to Mr. Longoria uh, coming in, and they assisted Mr. Longoria, and uh, will continue to assist Mr. Longoria in whatever capacity he needs uh, from this team. Again, I just wanted to make sure, or I wanted to uh, acknowledge these three individuals. Absolutely. We've had, uh, in addition, we've had uh, Daniel, Daniel with Buildings and Grounds. Yes, Daniel. We've had Flores. the auditor's office that has provided assistance. We have, uh, gosh, individual custodians that have been out to assist right. uh, people from the precincts as well. So thank you all very much. Thank you. Item D, Judge Commissioners, uh, I'm asking authority to sign a letter allowing, uh, uh, allowing for uh, the county clerk uh, for the destruction of former Justice of the Peace Precinct 5 obsolete documents due to closure of office. What type of documents are we talking about? Um, actually, Monica, do you have that list? Uh, there, it's, it's attached. Judge, if you give me one second here. I saw. They're, already, they're looking into it. Somebody's walking back. There. I've got it. If you give me one second, I should have been more uh, better prepared. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yes, sir. Everything is fine. Okay. We're good, Jeff? have it here somewhere. Did you get it, Monica? I yes. can't. Do you? Okay. Hold. Hold. Okay. Judge Commissioners, what we have uh, uh, that I'm asking authority to send that letter off to the county clerk's office is 461 unused, pre-numbered, pre-signed paper for certified copies of vital statistics, 297 voided, pre-numbered, pre-signed paper for certified copies of vital statistics, and 65 voided, unnumbered, appear for certified copies of vital statistics. What about, oh well. They so don't need them in the, new, uh, in the new office? No, they, they're, they're all, they're all, they all pertain to the former Justice of the Peace Precinct 5 office, which does not exist. I have worked with uh, the DA's office uh, when we did the transition uh, at the end of the year, uh, and this, is, uh, this, is the, uh, this should be the final step uh, with respect to uh, the information uh, that cannot be used anywhere else. I can tell you that we had a town hall meeting um, last week in the Delta area, and uh, the leadership of that area is going to make another effort to try to get those positions reinstated. That doesn't mean they're going to be successful, but an effort I think will be made. Now, if in fact they are successful, do they need these records or not? No, these are, these are actually already signed by the former. Okay. The former Justice of the Peace. Uh, uh, and, 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 and Judge, if, if uh, in the future, uh, we do have that office, uh, you would have uh, a new set of numbering. You, I mean, uh, because remember, uh, we have uh, Justice of the Peace, uh, place, uh, Precinct 1, Place 1, and Precinct 1, Place 2, that, that uh, would be undertaking uh, that duty uh, okay. because they service that All area. Right. So. so everything else is in order. Okay. Move for approval. Move. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item E, I'm asking approval to submit an application for the purposes of obtaining a quote for cyber insurance with authority uh, for me to sign the necessary documents. So move for second. second. What, what is the coverage going to provide? It, it's cybersecurity, Judge. It's information technology. It's everything that we do uh, from a technology standpoint. But what standpoint. are they insuring against? I'm sorry? What are we paying? The uh, uh, internal, uh, uh, 
unauthorized access. And there's a hacking. What, 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 what are we asking for? Yeah, I may, well, you, may, you mind if I jump in on that one? It would just ahead. be cover, mitigate any financial loss that can result from a hack, which would right. be equipment or any identity theft, any lawsuit that's brought upon us, if that were to happen, that's the coverage that it provides. What are, we, what are they charging us for? I don't know. That's why I'm asking authority yeah. to get to it, because we have to fill out paperwork, and I'm asking authority to, to get a All quote. Right. It's, it's actually something that's recommended nowadays for right. yes. larger institutions, everybody okay. in general. It is the world we live yeah. in today. Favor insurance. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item F. Judge Commissioners, uh, I'm asking approval to accept the settlement check from Apollo Managing General Agency in the amount of $8,855 to settle a total auto accident loss with one of our county vehicles, a sheriff's uh, office vehicle. Move for approval. Second. Those in Valde favor, say yeah. aye. Excuse me. But how old is the car? That vehicle, Commissioner, is a 2008 Ford Expedition with over 233,000 miles that was used for law enforcement purposes. Yeah, that's a question Fern had earlier. Okay. All right, thanks. Thank you. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item G, I'm asking approval to set, uh, accept the settlement check from State Farm Insurance Company in the amount of $394.64, and this will settle a claim uh, for county property damages. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item H is an, uh, is an item for the uh, review and discussion of the assignment of the department liaisons. Uh, Judge, do you have the, uh, the, uh, the list? Right. I, well, I provided every commissioner a list, but I have mine here. The last time we did this was in 2011. Judge, you want to state like a, a period that we should be looking at uh, assigning liaisons, maybe a two-year window or, you know, just so that there's... Some continuity? Yeah, just whatever you think would be appropriate yeah. in regards to time. Yeah. Just so we have a format we operate with. And well, I noticed, I know that we had been doing it every four years. Let's keep but, it every four years then. All right. I know I, I had uh, in my letter I expressed an interest in the drainage district, HR department, budget, and indigent defense. And uh, I'm not sure what the interest is in a part of the of the members of the court, but I don't know if you, you have one of these, Joe. And judge, is it time? It's time to do all of them. Well, this is it, the time when we said. I them? would think it is time. You could, okay, you we could. need to look and see who's got what right now. Commissioner Wan's got Head Start purchasing and Fire Marshal, are they? Yes. Right. Precinct 2's got Ag, Law Library, and uh, Elections, Elections Department. Department. <clears throat> Three's got Safety Department, Health Insurance, Workman's Comp. To me, it didn't make any difference wherever the rest of the guys want, as long as we do a good job, you know. But should we? should we you know maybe based on tenure or whatever choose one and then go around and then everybody chooses their top and then the next one or if you want me to uh, coordinate it maybe you can submit your interest into my office and I'll you know that way I'll have a, a how, running how far list. down do we go all the Run. way yeah okay we yeah, can do that it and then we'll make that decision that in order of importance okay okay and then we'll then we'll make the decision at our at our next Let meeting me. or if yes, sir. If that's what you want to, guys want to do. All right. There's no action to be taken today, commissioners. That's correct. Unless there's an objection to those four that I'm that I'm seeking. If there's no objection, then I can take those off the list. Yeah. Well, we can do them all together. I, I would recommend we do them all together. Uh, yeah. We might all have interest in one, and it would mm -hmm. be important that we kind of mitigate that before we come for board action. Okay. Okay, we'll that, that's what we'll do then. We'll table it to the next meeting. And if you if you will submit uh, your uh, respective interests, and we'll, we'll keep a record of them and uh, be providing copies to everybody. Sounds good. Judge, just for the record, we're taking no action. No. Right, no action, no action on that item. Our DA's office, item eight. You've already done that one, Judge. The DA himself presented that item, and y'all approved it. B. 
Yes, so I'm here on 9B, County Court at Law, number 8, requesting waiver of the budget amendment policy, personnel related amendments, uh, discussion and consideration to approve, to create one temporary full time clerk one position, slot T006 at 1010 an hour, and not to ex exceed, excuse me, six months, and approval to revise the salary schedule in accordance with Commissioner's Court action. Move for approval. Second. Judge. Yes, sir. There's no funding. Uh, subject to well, funding. Subject to funding. I mean, this, this young man has hit the ground running. He's already uh, disposed of over a thousand cases. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was needing this part time employee to help him coordinate mm -hmm. uh, the moving of these cases, which is something that we, that we should be able to accommodate. But subject to funding subject is to appropriate. Funding. Uh, those, is there a second? Second. second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Under 9C, WIC <coughs> administration, discussion, consideration, and approval of the following personnel actions. Delete slot 12, accountant 4 at $57,462. Delete slot 219, coordinator 4 at 56238 Create slot 254, a registered dietitian 2 at 52,306, create slot 255, administrative assistant four at 38,000, create slot 256, administrative assistant four at 38,000, and delete slot one, coordinator four at $56,162. Everything in order? Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Will that approve? I mean, that's also approving the um, revised salary schedule in accordance with Commissioner's Court. Right. Okay. Hmm. 9D, Texas Ag AgriLife Extension Service, approval of the following position title change only, effective next full pay period. It's slot A009, a coordinator to the proposed title of county extension agent. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Is that one and two? aye. Motion carries. Okay. No, no, that would, there's no Excuse two, me? is there? Yeah. Um, you salary salary schedule. Schedule. You I, no they just included it. There's no, oh, okay. it's just no the title. Action on two. No action on two. Well, the title change is also in the salary schedule. The what? I'm sorry, can you speak a little louder? With the, with the title change, it's going to change the salary schedule. Well, we need to approve that. The approval. Then. One and two. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We've done 9E. The judge herself came and presented it to you. 9F, Precinct 1 Road Maintenance. Discussion, consideration, and approval of the following salary adjustment effective for 2015. Slot 142, Maintenance 2. It's budgeted at 24708 Proposed salary is 25000 with a difference of $292. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Would that include two and two three? Two and three. Thank included. you. And 9G, Precinct 2 Sanitation, of approval of the following personnel actions. Effective next full pay period for 2015. Delete the following position. It's... Um, Slot 17, a maintenance one at $23,015, and delete slot 13, truck driver two at $24,963, and create the following position would be slot 20, program manager at $47,800. Move for approval, one, two, and three. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. Item 10, our sheriff's office. Hello, Judge, Commissioners. Morning. Richard, morning. Sheriff's Office, uh, on behalf of our Sheriff, Eddie Guerra, under 10A. It's under the Hidalgo County Cellular Telephone Policy, AT&T, through the DIR, SDD 1777, this presentation for consideration, acceptance, and approval of the cellular phone request for a data link uh, card request for the following, under the requisition 274, 263 for two data link hosted access for vehicle modems at $37.99 uh, a month each, sir. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Under item B is requesting approval to revise the MOU agreement 
those uh, minor modifications approved by our legal with uh, healthweb.com <coughs> LLC and uh, the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office on prior uh, dates of 2415 and 331 of 15. And under number two is the approval of the authorization for the county judge as the authorized official to sign this agreement. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, last item to see is under the operation of Stone Gardens, authorization and approval to deobligate $194.17 uh, from the Sheriff's Office Operation Stone Garden 2013 overtime French uh, uh, funds and allocate it over to the Constable Precinct 1 office. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Item, uh, item 12, constables. Item 12, judge, commissioners, with your permission, I, uh, the constable's office asked for me to present this. Uh, Constable 1, Operation Stone Garden. That's fund 1284. Uh, uh, they're asking authorization and approval to appropriate $194.17 uh, of the sheriff's uh, office operation Stone Garden 2013 overtime fringe fraud, a uh, fringe fund, I'm sorry, uh, and allocate uh, to Constable Precinct 1. Move for approval. Thank Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And Judge Commissioners, I apologize, but that's uh, Constable Celestino Avila. Thank you. Good morning, Mike Escalera, Mayor from the Health Department. Uh, Mr. Levarez couldn't be here today, but he asked me to present the following agenda item. Item uh, 49249, requesting approval to submit renewal grant application for the CPS hazards program for fiscal year 16 in the amount of 574,166. The grant contract will be in effect from July 1st, 2015 through June 30th, 2016. And this grant does require a 10% local funding match, which was reserved during the budget, budget process. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And uh, there's no action on, on 13B and uh, there's no action on 13C. Thank you. Thank you. Item 14A. Our probation, adult probation. Well, we'll come back to it. Judge Commissioners, item 14A is approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor uh, and appropriation of those funds for the DWI grant program in the total amount of $13,517. For approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. You want to cover two? Motion approved, number two. Second. Right. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <clears throat> item 15, our IT department. Morning, Judge Commissioners. Uh, small item, uh, 15A, authorization and approval to purchase new wireless devices through the DIR contract as listed on the chart below. These are data cards for constables. Motion approved, 15A. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Have a great morning. Item 16, Urban County. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. I guess we need to con convene a hearing. I would like to request just as we go to item I first. Item which one? I, please. All aye. right. Go ahead. Okay, item I is requesting the approval of a budget and program amendment for the city of Granjeno to fiscal year 25 and 26. The amendment will delete the rehab single family, uh, single unit activity and also the parks and recreational activity. These projects had already been environmentally cleared. So moved. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, now we can have the public hearing, Judge. All right, this time we're going to convene a public hearing to consider public comments for Hidalgo County Precinct Number 1's proposed budget amendment for fiscal years 2012 and 2013. The proposed amendment will increase funding by $243,676.87 for year 2012 and $256,000. Three hundred twenty-three dollars and thirteen cents for year 2013 for the reconstruction and drainage improvements to Old La Blanca Road, North Mile 
mile 9 north to mile 12 north road Donna through an approval interlocal agreement between the city of Granjeno and precinct 1. Is there anyone here who desires to make any comments either way in favor of or in opposition? All right, no, no one having risen, we will close the hearing and proceed to item A2. Thank you, Judge. Item A2 is requesting the approval of the budget amendment as, just as you read it. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B is requesting approval of the revised urban county program guidelines for the Hidalgo, the Hidalgo Colonia Self-Help Center and the authorization to revise as necessary. Move for approval. Second. Those in a favor question, say aye. A question, Judge? Yes. It's the way the agenda item is stated, it says to approve the revised urban county program guideline and to revise as necessary. I'm thinking the revision should come back when they're made. The revisions normally have to do with any potential increase in whether or not an, uh, an applicant qualifies, what the income limits are. They change on an annual basis, and that would be my only reason for wanting to revise it. If you can just restate it just so it's only those items. Okay. According to what we've written here, the income limits provided in the um, SHH guidelines were also revised to reflect the current limits, and that's pr pretty much that's, that's the only reason I would want to revise it. Well, just limited to those two would be the okay. motion. So I move. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item C. Item C is requesting the approval to amend the agreement between the County of Hidalgo Urban County Program and Proyecto Azteca for the Colonia Self-Help Center grant, which is from 2012 to 2016. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item D is requesting approval of the best and final negotiated contract for professional consulting consultant I'm sorry, for professional construction management services with Lefevre Engineering Management Consulting LLC in the amount of 420000 for the management and coordination of the Delta Area Connector East Lateral Project, util utilizing the general land office funds uh, identified for Precinct 1. Judge, commissioners, if, this, if, this, if it's approved, we'd like it to be subject to receipt of insurance certificate and subject to final legal review. That will be my motion. motion. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Item E is a request on behalf of Precinct 4 requesting authority to purchase, to issue a purchase order to JM Accessibility for ADA plan review for the Brewster Park Improvement Project. The amount of the contract or the purchase order would be $1,175. So moved. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item F is a request on behalf of the City of La Jolla requesting authority to purchase minor equipment and supplies through Hidalgo County's membership and participation with Byboard and approved vendor BSN Sports. The amount of the purchase would be $7,659.45. Move for Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item G is also on behalf of the City of La Jolla requesting authority to purchase minor equipment and supplies through Hidalgo County's membership and participation with Byboard, approved vendor audiovisual aids in the amount of $1,936. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item H is requesting approval of a budget and program amendment for the City of Palmview. The proposed amendment for fiscal year 27 work plan will delete the fire station project due to in ineligibility of area-wide benefit. The parks project will delete the current location listed as Palmview City Park and includes the complete development of a new park to be loca located at 215 Showers Road. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We've already done item I and go on to item J. A request on behalf of the City of Penitas requesting consideration and action to award and enter into a construction contract with the 5125 company in the amount of $152,432. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 
Item K is on behalf of the Urban County Program requesting the award and bid of approval of construction contracts with A1 Installation and 3 General Construction Company, Incorporated, for the demolition and reconstruction of the following, one unit in the countywide area, one unit in the city of La Jolla, for a total amount of $116,200 to A1 Construction Installation, and number two, two units in the countywide area for a total contract amount of $110,500 to three general construction incorporated. If we can take those each separately because there's two Move different for companies. K1. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Move for approval number two. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Can Thank you tell you. me the significance of, of voting on I before A? We needed to make sure that we took the money from Grand Handle first before we turned around and gave it to Precinct 1. I'm sorry. We, we, well, what we had to do is we had to uh, uh, actually tell the court that the city of Grand Handle was willing to give up their money for Precinct 1, or not give up, to loan their money to Precinct oh, 1 okay. so that we could go ahead and take action on the, on the actual right. amendment. But didn't we take action on that here a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago? We took action to enter into an interlocal agreement with, between the two entities. Precinct 1 and, and Gran Geno, but now we were just trying to make sure that everything fell into place of how we were taking. Yeah. When, I, when I say taking, we're not actually taking, we're just borrowing, and the commissioner is going to pay back in two years. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Our elections office, item 17. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Amanda Valdez for Ivan Ramon. Uh, item 17A is the ratification of approval of lease contract for election services between Hidalgo County and the City of McAllen for their election that was held on April 4th, 2015. For approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B, approval of lease contract for election services between Hidalgo County and the City of Ed Couch for their election to be held on May 9th, 2015. For approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C, approval of lease contract for election services between Hidalgo County and the City of Alton for their election to be held on May 9th, 2015. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Approval of full contract for election services between Hidalgo County and the City of Benitas for their election to be held on May 9th, 2015. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item E, approval of full contract for election services between Hidalgo County and the Sherryland Independent School District for their election to be held on May 9, 2015. Move approved. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, item F, approval of full contract for election services between Hidalgo County and the City of La Villa for their election to be held on May 9, 2015. Move, Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. You're not going to work the uh, McAllen School Board election? Yes, we have not. Re I think their contract is on for the next oh, court date. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, but we are running McAllen ISDs. Okay, item 18. Andrea. Item 18. Good morning, Judge and Commissioner. Good morning, Ms. Valdez. How are you? Let me just pull up my presentation here somehow. Is there anybody from IT here? Sorry about that. Hilda, is there anybody from IT? Are you putting something on the screen? Yes. I just need the desktop ready. Sorry about that. But we're here to report our um, 2014 Making a Difference Report, which is our annual report for last year. Thank you. Okay. And just an introduction. My name is Andrea Valdez. I'm with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. I'm the Family and Consumer Sciences Agent. And with me today is Dr. Ruben Saldana. He is our District Administrator for District 12. Um, so I'm here representing all of the agents of Hidalgo County. And here is our Making a Difference Report for 2014. Um, just a little bit about the mission of Texas A&M. Um, we are 
your trusted research and your local educators extending knowledge and providing solutions to um, the citizens of Hidalgo County. 2014 was a big year for us. We celebrated 100 years of extension. And here are our educational contacts for 2014. And if you'll notice, the, the picture there really speaks a thousand words. This was um, a little girl who, in one of our community gardens that we established through one of uh, Miss Barbara Stortz's grant, just saw a tomato on the plant and just had to have it. So she picked it right off and took a bite of it. But here are all of our contact, our, our total contact hours for our educational programs for all agents was 99,459 and, and 75. What I'm going to do is just highlight some of our major programs per area. So our horticulture highlight, um, developed by Ms. Barbara Stortz and help from Cameron County Horticulture Agent, is a junior master gardener program. And this is a program that um, teaches teachers um, a gardening curriculum that helps integrate gardening into math and science into their classrooms. This is the multi-county, multi-discipline workshop that was held. Um, and we actually did hold one whole complete teacher training for all of PSJ ISD. And I believe that almost every elementary in their school district has some type of garden available for the kids to work on. Um, and the results there were 93% of the teachers said they would utilize, utilize activities from their workshop in their schools, and 98% of them anticipate utilizing the health and nutrition curriculum in their classrooms for their kids. Our Ag and Natural Resource highlight um, from Mr. Brad Cowan uh, is what really saved the grain sorghum industry this year. Um, a new pest came across, um, came across extension with a sugarcane aphid in the fall of 2013, was identified as an emerging need to the grain sorghum industry. Um, Mr. Cowan worked with some extension specialists, um, all of the growers, and some independent associations, and saved the grain, sor gor grain sorghum industry in Hidalgo County the $66 million for the year, um, with, with um, doing different field days and different um, meetings, and they're actually doing one today at our center in Westlaco to help combat this pest from taking over our crops. Our family resource highlight is the program Welcome to the World, World developed by myself and Ms. Joanne Yoreste. This is a program that teaches high school seniors financial literacy and it gives them a capstone experience of how to manage their money. Um, we did this with Westlaco High School and Westlaco East High School. Had about 146 high school seniors complete the program, but um, our top results were a 69% increase in knowledge of their relationship between education and their career and potential earnings. And um, that was just at Westlaco East, and then at Westlaco High, we had a 72% increase in knowledge of relationship between education and career potential earnings. And this program helps to have the kids relate to if I stay in school and if this is the job and lifestyle that I want, then um, this is what I, how I need to manage my money to do that. And then I included just a little um, student quote there. I hope to learn more so I can be prepared in the future. And another family and consumer science highlight is our Walk Across Texas program, which I'm sure you're all, all familiar with. Um, this program helps to combat physical inactivity, which in our county we have a physical inactivity statistic of 22%. This is an eight-week program designed to help people support each other and develop the habit of regular activity. And um, we think the county judge and the commissioner's court on all the departments for their support in this program. We had many county departments participate. As you can see, in 2014, we did two different rounds. And um, if I can just highlight the potential econ economic impact between the different rounds when we went from 43 employees to 180 employees, um, really jumped up there from 633000 to almost $2.4 million. And that's estimated by their health care costs, how many times they visit the doctor, and how this program can um, help them stay active. And I think they had a really good time doing it, the friendly competition. We are in, we're going to start, we just finished our round three, and so we'll start our round four here soon. Our expanded food and nutrition program is a federal program that um, doesn't have any contribution from the county, but we do have an agent here locally that does uh, work with that program. And it provides nutrition education 
to uh, families and youth with limited resources, have about almost 1,600 families enrolled in FNEP, and their results for this last year was a 97% positive change in any food group, and their top youth percentage was 88% improved ability to choose foods according to the dietary guidelines. So they are out there educating um, families and youth on my plate, on nutrition labels, on how to shop smart, how to um, make the most of the money that they do have. Our four, we also are the home of um, Hidalgo County 4-H, and our highlight this year is leadership. This was developed by myself and our new agent, Joey Gutierrez. We had 48 youths attend state-level education and competitive events. We actually had one young lady pictured there. She went all the way to the national, um, national 4-H fashion show in Colorado. Um, and did a great job there. But we had many different um, youths participate in different events, and we had 40 youths that received 4-H scholarships valued at $200,000. So we're actively working with them, providing different competitions with them so they can cultivate um, their leadership skills and personal development. Um, our cooperative extension program through Prairie View A&M with Mr. Vidal Signs. Um, He's a small farm loan uh, extension agent and provides help to citizens that need um, advisement or help filling out their loan applications. And the highlight of his program was he received approval for um, his, the loans that he helped with was $7.5 million. This was an average savings of almost three or $2,600 for the 57 participants that he helped throughout the year. So this is our personnel. We've added a few people throughout the year, and we're still um, adding a couple more spots, but I just wanted to include our contact information, and this is who we are and who, and we're here to help you. And I'd also just like to thank all of you for your contributions and your support of extension programs as we continue to educate the people. And I do have a copy of this report for each of you. Any thank questions? You. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? If not, thank you. We'll be out. All right, our next item, 19, our WIC program. Good morning, Judge Commissioner. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, we have, uh, it's a 19A, which is the acceptance of the Lactation Support Center Strategic Expansion Program. And uh, one is requesting approval to accept the Lactation Support Services Ex Strategic Expansion Program grant contract number 2015-047-694. 001 in the amount of 195000 for the period of April 1st, 2015 through August 31st, 2016. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And then two is requesting approval for, for the county judge to sign the cert certification regarding lobbying statement. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, three is requesting approval for the county judge to sign the Fiscal Federal Funding Accountability and Transparency Act. Move for approval. Third. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And four is requesting approval of certification of revenue in the amount of 195000 For approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Five is requesting approval of the budget appropriation in the amount of 195000 in grant funds. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Six is the uh, creation of the position uh, slot number 001 in this new budget, and it's for an international board certified lactation consultant proposed budgeted salary at 63000 Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And seven is the approval to create the salary schedule in accordance with commissioner's court action. Move for approval. approval. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. 
Item 20, our auditor. Judge, I would like to ask the uh, approval of certification of revenues for interest earned in 2015 for certificates of obligation series <clears throat> 2002 and 2004. So moved. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. And I also would like to uh, ask approval of the 2015 inner fund transfers from certificates of obligation series 2002 and 2004 to refunding bond series 2014A in the total amount of $237,038.33 to close out the retired debt service funds 1432 and 1434. For approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 21, planning. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Good morning, sir. This item is discussion and possible action to execute the LPA standard utility agreement for FM681 with Southwestern Bell Telephone Company, DBA, AT&T, Texas. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Item 22B. Precinct 2. Mandu. Mandu. I think we did them. Um, yeah. Oh, we're on 22B. Don't drop the ball like it's coming. <laughs> Good morning again, Commissioner, Commissioner's Judge. Uh, on item 22B, at this time, we're going to ask that we take no action uh, and we will bring it back uh, to the next City Commission uh, once we have an MOU in place. All right. Uh, item, item 22C, uh, approval of interlocal agreement between the City of Far and the County of Hidalgo, uh, Texas, for road improvements on Eldora Road from I-69C East to Veterans Road. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. 22D, uh, Precinct 2, uh, interlocal with Eldora, approval, for approval of 2015 appropriation of funds from the Road and Bridge Unreserved Fund Balance for Precinct 2 uh, for the project previously mentioned. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Item 24, Precinct 4. Uh, we're going to take no action at this point in time, Judge. All right, sir. No action. Item 25, Budget. Judge, Commissioner, yeah. Senator Cruz, Department of Budget Management. Uh, item 25A is presentation of the 2016 uh, budget process calendar. Uh, we're about to start the uh, budget process again for, for the next fiscal year. Uh, we will be uh, sending out the instructions uh, to all the departments uh, tomorrow, uh, or actually uh, by the end of the week, and we'll begin uh, the data entry uh, portion of uh, submitting the departmental budgets on Monday. Uh, we'll also continue to work uh, throughout the, the rest of the, uh, the next uh, few months. Uh, one of the items of note is going to be the budget adoption date. It's going to be on September 29th. So we are uh, roughly about 170 days away from, from budget adoption, again, for the next fiscal year. Uh, We'll be having, uh, after we get the uh, department to submittal, uh, beginning probably in July, we'll start the workshops. Uh, between then and now, uh, we'll be working with the departments trying to, to, to reach an agreement as far as for their next fiscal year budget. Uh, and again, I don't need uh, approval of that item, uh, just merely a presentation of the budget calendar. Well, you said you, how much yes, is it going to cost? I know, excuse me, but how much do you figure Mahlamed is going to cost for the Sheriff Department and the law enforcement for the increases that they're talking about? Uh, we, we haven't begun to discuss that with the sheriff. Uh, you know, I had uh, been given basically, you know, told by uh, the sheriff and some of his staff about that uh, 
DPS uh, increase in their pay, uh, so we still need to, to work that out. At one time I heard something like 8 million, 5 million. Yeah, those I think were some of the preliminary numbers that were being thrown out. Uh, I think it might be a little bit less than that, but again, it's going to be basically what we can afford as far as maybe three uh, and a half, four million. Anywhere between three to four, I would I, say. I don't think uh, it'll be that high. You talk about, about eight hundred employees, most of of the sheriff's department. No? Yes, mm -hmm. but they only want to want the uh, the investigators. Uh, not, yeah, the, not the jailers. The, he was talking about $8 million. Yeah. Yeah. Those were the initial estimates. Again, we're still, I think, too early to, to be. Even the constables and everybody, no? Yeah, I'm sure it's going to affect those. It, it, you know, I think it will be all the, the one thing about the bill that we need to look at is that uh, they're, they included $45 million to be distributed between the border counties. Mm -hmm. How much of that we get, we don't know. But hopefully it'll be the lion's share because we're the largest county. And the one with the most problems. <laughs> <laughs> now, item 2025A2 20, uh, is approval of the 2016 budget development criteria. Uh, Judge Commissioners, again, this is a, the criteria that we're uh, bringing forth to the court uh, in helping us to, to, to develop this uh, 2016 budget. Again, one of the things that we are uh, looking to, to be able to provide, uh, you know, subject to, to funding uh, limitations, would be to provide some type of cost of living increase to employees. Uh, right now, looking at the CPI index from, for this last quarter to the last time we, we gave a cost of living adjustment, it's a little bit over 5.7%. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to afford 5.7%, but we'll, we'll try to present options to the court as far as trying to provide some type of cost of living adjustment for employees. Uh, based on, on the uh, personnel that we have right now, a 1% uh, a cost of living adjustment for employees countywide would roughly equal about $1 million. So every percent that we were to be given would, uh, would amount basically a million dollars of salaries and fringes uh, for, for employees countywide. How much Growth have we had in the last two years, Valde? Growth with respect to the property valuations, uh, property, or no? Well, I'm call, talking about actual growth for the county. So do, 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 what's what's the percentage? Maybe two percent, one percent. No, we haven't received any preliminary numbers yet. We won't receive those probably not till late May. So we're still very early on. How much? You get, uh, how much last you year, I believe we we've got somewhere around 2.5 percent. The year prior to that was you know close to maybe one percent. We so we're, we're back there, back in the 2006, five, and four. I believe it was like six, seven, eight percent at one time. Right. There was there was a period of time where the uh, the growth uh, was uh, constant, uh, uh, and then we had that dip, and we've been roughly from dip. from 2003 to 2008, uh, the average increase was somewhere around 10 to 11 percent. Yes. Uh, after that, uh, from 2009 to, to basically 2014, I think the average was a little bit over one percent. Uh, on average, uh, they have been. It has been trending upward. As I mentioned, we were at one percent. We moved up a little bit over a little bit over two percent. Hopefully, for this next fiscal year, we will get anywhere between three to five percent. But again, right now at this point, uh, it's still too early. We won't get uh, any preliminary numbers from the appraisal district until late May, uh, and then again, we won't get the certified totals till uh, late July. Um, but, but uh, again, last year we did have roughly a little bit over $4 million in new property tax uh, revenue that we were able to, to bring into to the uh, you, you, you need action budget. on A2? On A2, yes, I would like to have uh, action uh, for the court to, to consider these uh, development criteria as we work with the departments. Again, as far as on uh, one of the main things that we would have is that we would develop our budget with no tax increase, so we would remain at the 59 cents. And then uh, also, as you can see, there's some on item seven, there are certain things that we're looking at that we would like to, to see a reduction. Uh, and, and the DA and, and the sheriff already present, made a presentation us try to reduce the, the jail room and board. Uh, now we would still need to do the same thing for juvenile. They, they probably are one of the highest uh, increases in expenditures that we had last year. Uh, and then also in regards to personnel, we would request that any personnel actions that are, would be considered by the court would be, have a cost-neutral effect. Uh, you know, if there's any type of, of 
new positions that they be funded or any type of increases that they be funded within their current uh, operating, uh, their current uh, salary budget for the department and not be transferring from the operating to, to the personnel budget. We would request that any personnel actions be done within that same funding that they currently have. Uh, and there's other, uh, again, we would continue again with the reduction in the aid to non-governmental agencies, uh, the plan that we had set in motion uh, two years ago. Uh, we request that we would continue on that as well. Didn't we tell them it was going to be 25% uh, every year or something like 25 that? 25%, yes, reduction every year. So why are we doing 75? Basically, the 70, 75 would be the 75 of the original amount that we had been giving them previously. Okay. Uh, it would be, we would be entering into the third year of the reduction phase, so we would at that point be reducing 75 of the original amount that they had uh, four years ago. All right. So if I could have approval of that budget criteria or if there's any other criteria that the court would like us to, to keep in mind as we try to develop this budget for the next fiscal year. Well, Move for approval. Judge, commissioners, I I'm sorry, commissioner. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, there was a, there was a uh, motion. The motion. I uh, can I get a second? Second. second. Okay, let, we can discuss it now. Uh, well, go Judge, ahead, commissioners, uh, with that, with uh, Sergio's presentation, um, uh, in working with the departments and elected officials, uh, we do have some economic challenges that we have to overcome. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a change in the cost of health insurance. Uh, I don't know if that, uh, if we've got an indication, if uh, there'll be uh, any increase. We, in we that would area. expect that the, the the trend would continue as far as healthcare okay. costs. There would be some increase. Okay. Uh, one of the things that we're uh, looking at as well is going to be on our retirement. Uh, now that the market has somewhat stabilized, okay. uh, we have seen uh, reductions in our uh, TCDRS contribution. Contribution. So we would. Uh, recommend to the court that any savings that we have there, any reductions that we have in the TCDRS, that we do apply it to the health insurance, uh, given the fact that we still need to build up that uh, fund balance. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure that we're all, uh, we're all, I mean, I, I know we're all aware, but just that we do have some economic challenges coming up. We do have uh, some very, very important uh, state infrastructure bank uh, financing projects. Uh, we have the, uh, the issue of the courthouse uh, that we know uh, it, there's a need there. We have uh, the issue of uh, our current m and uh, shortages. And so I guess what I'm saying is that uh, during this process, uh, I've said it in the past, uh, we're going to make some hard decisions and it may boil down to uh, services. Uh, and I'm not talking about cutting services by way of uh, roads, bridges, uh, uh, maintenance, uh, uh, law enforcement, safety aspect. Uh, I'm just talking about uh, services with respect to uh, requests that uh, I have a staff uh, to, to provide X service of 15. I actually need 18. Uh, uh, those just may, uh, would probably have to be, uh, will probably not come to fruition. Uh, we may have to look at current vacancies within um, the general fund uh, that may have to be eliminated to make up some of these shortfalls. Right now, our general fund is somewhere in the vicinity of $180 million? Yes. Okay, and so last year we cut, we, we, we cut or we, 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 we reduced in, in, in various uh, areas, tune of 10 million, 11? Well, we reduced and we increased in other areas. Uh, okay, the net know, effect so there was, was not. There was no. Uh, okay, and increase in the net effect. right, and we're currently uh, we're we're done with the first quarter of the year. We're using the the cost savings of vacancies to address those areas that we know we're going to have issues down the road. We're going to look at the second quarter, do the same thing, and so what I'm saying is during this budgeting process, we uh, as we've always done, we're going to have very frank discussions with the department heads and the elected officials with respect to the viability of, uh, of their request versus the resources we have available. Uh, because uh, the, 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 one, the one goal or the one thing that is, uh, that is a certainty is this court has said that there will be no adjustment in the tax rate. And so we will, uh, the, the, we will be keeping that 59 cents. Obviously, of the 59 cents, I think we have uh, 705 to INS. Is it uh, seven or seven cents? Actually, it's it's uh, 0 0.598, I believe, Five, okay. uh, that we 0. have in INS. Okay. However, we did have a transfer out 
of $2 million, which is just a little bit shy of, of, of a penny, a penny. Uh, that was transferred out that from general fund to, to the INS because of the expected okay. uh, issuance that we had in November. Uh, okay. However, since we had not actually gone through with the issuance, we weren't able to put it into our debt service fund, so we had to levy that under our m &O. Okay. Mr. Harris will be a, a balanced budget. We will have we will have a, we will have a balanced budget. Now there's many definitions of balanced budget, uh, yep. but we will have a balanced budget. But I want to I just want to make sure that we're all we're, we're all clear and for the for the sake of the of the audience uh, that 59 cents is not 59 cents M and O. It's 59 cents total tax rate. And so we have the absolute is going to be the INS. We, we, we will meet our debt obligation, and so we have X left. Uh, for maintenance and operation, uh, but again, we have to, uh, our goal is to obviously uh, continue with uh, all the road and bridge uh, projects because uh, that is actually that's what we use for the uh, road construction, road maintenance, road operation, and then we also have our maintenance and operation needs at the courthouse uh, with respect to the project at hand. So, I, Judge Commissioners, uh, my comments are just that we're going to have very frank discussions with the elected officials and the department heads uh, during this budgeting process. Okay. Go ahead. So, just commissioners, yes, if I could have approval. Oh, just, just a minute. We did have a motion and a second. Yes, Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, item 25B is, is a, a approval of the emergency transfers for the period of March 2nd through March 31st. Uh, these are emergency transfers that were done outside of the uh, commissioner's court. The report is attached uh, on the agenda. We're requesting approval of those transfers. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 25C is approval to undesignate the amount of $56,562.37 uh, in year 2014 from the 1115 waiver uh, assigned fund balance. This is for some expenditures that were recorded in fiscal year 2014. Uh, so we're just undesignating that amount. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 25D1 is approval of 2015 appropriation of funds for the Justice Court Tech in the amount of $81,051.15. And this is for uh, Odyssey uh, project related expenses for the JPs. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 25D2 uh, is approval of 2015 appropriation of funds from the Road and Bridge Unreserved Fund Balance for Precinct 1 Road Maintenance. In the amount of fifty-five thousand three hundred five dollars and seventy-seven cents. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item twenty-five uh, D three is approval of twenty fifteen appropriation of funds from the Road and Bridge undesignated unreserved fund balance into the precinct three uh, maintenance program zero zero five in the amount of four hundred forty thousand two hundred eighty three dollars and fifty seven cents. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 25 uh, D4 is approval of 2015 appropriation of funds from general fund restricted scofflaw fund balance in the scofflaw program in the amount of $125,174.57. Approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And item 25 uh, D5 is approval of certification of revenue as certified by the county auditor and appropriation of those funds uh, for the fire marshal in the amount of $1,004.68. This is items one and two. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 25E1 is approval of 2015 interfund transfer from Precinct 4 uh, road maintenance to emergency services uh, building to Linsa Manuel in the amount of uh, $3,010.20. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge Commissioners. Sir. Next item, purchasing. 26A1, agenda item 49210A, clarify agenda item 48422, action taken on March 3rd, 15, approving the total of four providers for appraisal, uh, real estate appraisal pool to and add the category and established and identified the pool for review appraiser services providers as one sole provider Harvey L. Hearson, DBA, HLH. We needed that clarification. We didn't do it at that time. So moved. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And due to that action, 
B is approve the engagement through an on-call master agreement with Harvey L. Hearson, DBA HLH, for the provision of review appraisal services and thereafter duly authorized purchase orders on a per-project basis. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 2, agenda item 48867, presentation of the bids received and detailed in the tabulation sheet contained herein, meeting all specifications and requirements for the purpose of award and approval of contract to Cleveland Asphalt Pur Products Incorporated for the request for bids for SS1 emulsified asphalt and delivery services. There were seven packets distributed, two bids received. Did you receive back? We only received One? Two? two? No. Two, and we are recommending Cleveland Asphalt Products. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three is acceptance and approval of the interlocal governmental agreement by and in between Hidalgo County Appraisal District and County of Hidalgo for year 2015 in connection with the participation with A, Hidalgo County self funded health insurance program, stop loss insurance, and life and AD and D, and B, voluntary products, limited, however, to dental and vision insurance only. Move approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item four, agenda item 48975, action on A, to terminate the agreement with the awarded contract to vendor Martin Marietta Materials through contract number 124, with original contract of 018, flexible base caliche pre precincts 1, 2, and 4, for the reasons detailed in the background that is provided to you. <coughs> we Move need action. Approval. Move for approval. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B is approval of amendment to contract number 124A with the original number as 018A with Rontera materials to include precincts 2 and 4 for flex flexible base crush caliche that will allow the precincts to purchase the product on an as-needed basis and avoid any work stoppages on operations. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C, ratification pursuant to terms and conditions of agreement of precincts two and four utilizing Frontera materials through the contracts as noted for the purchase of flexible base crush caliche. Move, Move for, for approval. approval. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item five. This is uh, 5A 49053, authority to advertise and approval of procurement packet for arbitrage calculation services with, for Hidalgo County, including the drainage district, if approved by Drainage District Board of Directors, in, accor in, a, in accordance with the current interlocal with said uh, drainage district. Move for approval. Second. Again. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Appointment and or designation of, by Commissioner's Court to select and assign an evaluation committee to evaluate and score the RFQs received for arbitrage calculation services for Dell County and Drainage District. Move for approval. Yeah. Well, who no, I think it ought to be that. Maybe the court and, or their designees. Oh. The court, uh, do you wish anyone, for, oh, of course, someone from Drainage District? We'll have them select someone. Also, or no? No, I think we can pick. We're the, we're the same people. Okay. All right. So do you want names? Yes, sir. Well, I'll, I'll pick uh, Erica. Ando Garza. Raul Lozano. Okay. Mingo. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Jesse Ozuna out of my office. All right. Precinct four. Need a motion. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. All right. Uh, item uh, six, ex uh, requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements. Move for approval. Uh, for uh, under Texas local government code 262024A7 only. There Those is a Those in typo. favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. B, requesting approval of a sole source agreement with CSS Technology. DBA EN1 Road Service Company for Hidalgo County, all departments and funding sources with um, the, the product that they sell. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item two is acceptance of the responses received and graded by precinct ROA, ROW agents recommended and qualified for award. That's title report services pool and the uh, contracts would be with Valley Land Title and South Texas Land Investigations. Move for approval. Second. 
Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. B Precinct 1, 49219, requesting approval to purchase from awarded vendor Rush Truck Centers of Texas under contract number 430-13 uh, through TASB by Boards Co-op. The following equipment that is uh, noted on the grid with a total of $432,072.98. Move for approval. Second. Okay. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. On uh, I, a Precinct 2, item 1, C1, 49275, we're requesting approval to rescind action taken on August the 12th, 2014, for the ranking of architectural services from the 2014 pool of architects for the construction of the county wide mechanic countywide mechanic shop project nothing was ever done with it and this is the new administration therefore this is going to be rescinded so moved second, second. Uh, those in favor say aye aye aye, aye. 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 motion carries b is requesting Eddie. exemption from competitive bidding under 262024a4 a professional service and it engineering is a typo it's architectural move for approval second all in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. Motion carries. Item C is presentation of the scoring grid for the purposes of ranking by Commissioner's Court from the professional pool of architects. They were the Warren Group with 96, Mata Garcia in, in architects with 93, and Negrete and Kolar at 94. Does the court wish to rank them in the order of their scores? Move for approval. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Authority for purchasing to commence negotiations with the number one rank of the Warren Group. Move for approval. Move. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 2, 49276, requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under 262-024-A4, a professional service and engineering is incorrect. Move for approval. Second. I'm sorry. All in favor say aye. <laughs> aye. <laughs> Motion right. carries. Item B is pre the presentation of the scoring grid for the purposes of ranking from the pool of professional architectural services. Sam Garcia, architect, 96. Mata Garcia, 93. And Negrete Colar, 94. Does the court wish to rank them in the Move order of approval. their scores? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. C is authority for purchasing to commence negotiations with the number one ranked firm of Sam Garcia, architect. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item 3, 49, 317, acceptance and approval to execute a final form of professional engineering agreement with LNG Engineering for on-call geotechnical construction materials testing and inspection services for road and bridge CIP and other projects in Move general. Approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item D, precinct 3, item is agenda item 49177 exemption from competitive bidding requirements under 262024A4 a professional service move for approval second all in favor say aye. aye aye motion carries b presentation of the scoring grid for the purposes of ranking of those uh, engineering firms selected from the pool lng at 99 uh, sames engineering at 92 south texas infrastructure group at 90 does the court wish to rank them in the order of their scores move for approval, move for approval. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Three is to allow purchasing to, to commence the negotiations with the number one ranked firm of LNG engineers. Move for approval. approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item E4, agenda item 49143, requesting approval of the interlocal cooperation agreement between Dow County and City of McAllen in connection with just specific project, that's FM 2220, where road project from mile five to FM 1925 with the concern by the auditor being that the agreement is dated March 9th. I think it's March 9th or March. Right. That is the date that the city of McAllen uh, approved the agreement. I will defer to Mr. Crane that we, that we uh, devise some language in there that shows the approval date maybe at the bottom of the agreement that uh, approved us to this date. Well, that's the date McAllen uh, took action on it and approved it. <laughs> And there's nothing illegal about approving a document after that date. That's okay. what we're doing. The only issue is that it's the effective date is, is prior to the commissioner's court approval, but is, it is because properly that was, saying, Steve? That, because as long as, as, as the commissioner's court approves that, it's fine. Yes. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And be in accordance with section 17. Was, 
791014, Texas Government Code, approval to the proposed project, which was the one just mentioned in the item before. Move for Move. approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. F1. 49123, Constable Precinct 3, requesting authorization and approval to purchase two new or newer 2015 Ford uh, utility vehicles through the membership with Buy Board, and that is through Sils Silsby Ford, 52,887 So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 249-221, Constable Precinct 1, requesting approval to purchase one or one or newer 2015 Chevrolet 15 by 4x4 four four crew cab through the buy board's awarded vendor, Country Caldwell Chevrolet Ford, in the amount of 29430 Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. The next one is GIT Department Agenda Item uh, 49165, requesting a, uh, approval of an amendment to sole source declaration for BJ. PJ Technologies Incorporated pre previously approved November 13, 2007 to reflect the name change to ve uh, by vendor to Goverland Incorporated for purchases of all future upgrade software maintenance support, online research services, and de said declaration to remain in effect until revo unless revoked by Commissioner's Court. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, discussion, consideration, and approval of addendum number one to the Texas Conference of Urban Counties to extend term and revise anticipated payment schedule for fiscal year 2015 for the integration of the justice system court administration. I know this is subject to funding, and it's also uh, was missing the attachment. That has since been uh, delivered to the auditor's office, to myself, and to Monica, and the court reporter. The question is, is there sufficient funding that you can provide, Sergio? I mean, so half, uh, half the items, I know, it's, I'll, it's I'll answer half the question. Half the items on the schedule are through the tax note accounts that we have, which is the software purchases. The maintenance comes out of general fund. We had, we had the money, but we had to fund a, a, a small um, purchase of equipment recently for old admin, but budget is helping us get that back. We should have enough to cover. That's where we'll, we'll be working with the IT department as far as transferring the money over to their account after the first quarter sweep. subject to funding right. or what? Yes, if we could yeah, have it approved subject to funding, yes. I just want to make Move sure for that, that he has subject to funding. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. H, Health and Human Services Department, uh, 49250, requesting authorization and approval to purchase a total of five vehicles through the county's uh, by board contract call will country Chevrolet Ford, $97,230 and as listed on the grid. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Aye for Sheriff's Department, agenda item 49161, presentation of the scoring grid below for the purposes of ranking. For the RFP responses received for the placement, housing, detention, and supervision of Hidalgo County inmates. Uh, there were two, two submission, submissions. One of them did not meet. It was um, the minimum specifications. Therefore, we, grade, we could only grade the GEO group incorporated. We ask that you rank them as qualified. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Requesting authority for purchasing department to enter into negotiations with the number one, one proposer, the GEO group, for the placement of in inmates. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. That is all I have. Thank you. 27, do we have an executive session? Yes, sir, we do. Mm -hmm. So we'll go into executive session uh, pursuant to Chapter 551, Texas Government Code, Section 551.071 and 551.072, discuss the following. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Action to be taken. 28B pending and or potential litigation. There's no action to be taken. 28C uh, civil action 714 CV 00438 Debe Carizales and Rogelio Stabulito versus Guadalupe Lupe Trevino Sheriff et al. Judge Commissioners, uh, I'd like for the court uh, to, I'd like to put on the record and for the court to take action authorizing Mr. Preston Henriksen to hire an expert witness on behalf of Hidalgo County. In action? Yes, sir. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. 
Item 28D, uh, CL 15-0896-D, Aurora Fuentes versus Palmview, one head start. Judge Commissioners, I'd like to refer back to item 7, A1 and 2, if I can find it. 7A1 is a request an exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code Section 2620-24A4 Professional Service for the provision of legal services representation in connection with litigation. If I could have a motion to that effect. So move. Second. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 2 is request an engagement with the law firm of Atlas Holland Rodriguez for the provision of legal services representation in connection with litigation and authority to submit a letter of engagement specific to Specific to CL 15-0896-D, Aurora Fuentes versus Palm One, Palm View One Head Start. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item E, under open session 28, I'd like settlement authority to make an offer in the amount of $70 with respect to the claim of Francisco F. Garza. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 I motion carries. Item 28F, claim of Jaime V. Villarreal. Judge Commissioners, I'd like Settlement Authority to make an offer in the amount of $75. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioners, there is no need to take action on 29 or 30, and all we have is 31 adjourned. Move to adjourn. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. When's our next meeting, by the way? Uh, two weeks. Judge, two in two weeks, weeks. Okay. Judge Commissioners, uh, a reminder, next week there is no meeting, but next week, Tuesday at 2.30, we have a workshop schedule. It's an important workshop, as I discussed earlier during the, uh, during the uh, budget presentation by DBM. We'll be discussing the plans of finance with respect to our road projects, uh, as well as uh, discussion courthouse. on the courthouse and how all of that fits into the big picture.